You have to push this button. Oh, hit go. I did it. Good. Nice work. All right, we should probably push this. <laughs> Wichita traffic must be brutal. Uh, it's not. It's just a really long drive. Let's do one of these. Now it's just out of view. Perfect. Ah, Look at perfect. This. Look at this professional setup. Hello, everybody. What's going on? Uh, fire truck equals no speed limit. I love it. <laughs> yes. I, uh, I didn't bring the fire truck, unfortunately. I'm trying to see if I can get this because I want to do the comments on this wall. Ah, uh, okay, you know okay. What I mean? So we got, you, I got gotcha. We'll have dedicated. Gotcha. Uh, Fancy. Yeah. So, what's Man. going on, everybody? Thank you guys for waiting. I'm, I'm much appreciative. Let's see here. Uh, but yes, it was ultimately John Ross's fault. You said get here at three, and then you said uh, I'm, I gotta pick I'm up going a cat. to the vet. Well, and I, I was know, like, I oh, know I'd do all that. right. I guess if you're going to the vet, then uh, I got <laughs> plenty of time. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's super funny. Actually, look at this whole. Oh. Ah, oh, comment mode. I like it. Yeah, look at this, guys. This is professional. This is what you guys are here for, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Jake, the man himself, and John Ross. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that a radio? Oh. No, I think that's us. Oh. I need to turn that down. That's going to be really annoying. I was like, look at this, look at this professional talking. setup, guys. Yeah, Aren't you like... excited for this? Look at this. <laughs> Greg, thank you. Stunning and brave. Are yeah. you calling one of us... Uh, I would assume Caitlyn I'm... Caitlyn Jenner? I'm so <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for your super chat. Yes. All right, we're almost 100% good to go here. Last, last little thing. Done. Done. We are good. We're good to go. All right, folks. So, if any of you remember from, well, I guess the thing that 100% Jake and I did back in uh, Christmas, we compiled funny, which... They almost all are funny Google reviews from various dealerships. This for the Christmas one, I chose Wichita, but today I figured we would check anywhere in the nation. Ah, and uh, so far it doesn't take long to stumble upon absolute dealership gold. Did you find some good ones? Uh, I mean, I just looked just to see like anywhere, Jacksonville, Florida, okay. hilarious. All right. All right. Everything. Anything so in funny. Florida has to be funny, obviously. <laughs> yes. Like. So let's look at this though. We've got, professional look at this now you guys can see what we're going to be looking at um i'm going to take this off because you guys can all see yourselves now that's not what we want and john ross is here so that way we can all talk while not uh i thought you had just reading i thought you had all these tabs like loaded up we're just no, going dude, we're doing we're literally doing it live this, so if, if somebody's got a live. city that they want to see i'm thinking we start in in everybody's favorite city akron ohio akron ohio <laughs> <laughs> I think what we were going for was Miami, Florida. <laughs> Miami, Florida is good too, but let's <laughs> let's just see what Akron. Oh. And, what, and we're no no Facebook Marketplace. Ford. Like we could. Okay. But okay. Let's just do Akron, Ohio, Ford. Right. Cool. And then uh, let's do this. Now everybody can see this. Boom. That's what I'm talking Boom. about. Boom. That's what I'm Look talking about. Look at that, about. folks. Full screen. Look at that. Okay. So we got Park Ford, Montrose Ford, or Ganley Ford. Okay. You all feeling of any sound, of these? No, those, those all sound like they're going to be exactly the same. San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. Shout out where you're from, everybody. And if you've got a particularly uh, sour dealership in your area, <laughs> I want to know about it because <laughs> this is great. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's do Park Ford because they're, they're coming up first. Yeah. Close us in. So let's see. They don't even care about selling cars. They don't even have that many. Happening. No, apparently not. It's the weekend. <laughs> you got to stay open. Oh, the reviews are excellent. Ah, uh, yeah. Until it's because they close it, so early. <laughs> Nobody's there to buy cars. Right. Until you search for lowest rating first. Ah. Uh, a lot of these are going to be service department. Okay. Uh, Rated as a one only because a zero was not an option. This place lies to cover and lies more once caught. I like it. I uh, like it. Christopher says, wow, we are professional. I would agree. Look at this. this I think it is a professional setup. It yeah. looks good. Yeah. I can kind of see it. Oh, another person that rated one because zero was not an option. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, they, could, yeah. well, that is a lot of if I could put zero stars, I could. Wow, they responded in all caps to that guy. But the best ones are the short and sweet ones, but you can just tell are like written in poor. I like how what they're doing is like cut and pasting right out of the uh, like service writers. Yes. Yeah, because that's, yeah, that's why it's Yeah, all he caps. just sent it right from the tech, and they're just like, dump it on Facebook or Google <laughs> or whatever it is. Uh, let's see here. I like this already. It, no way. I like that no one. Way. They blamed it on the customer. Go back up. Oh, this good. is a good one. Spoken management. Okay. I bought a car from here, and I was disappointed because the salesman told me the car, a full inspection, it had passed. Why did you put inspection twice? 
And when I came home, it sold me a car with no keys. I went back. He told me nothing he can do because you should inspect your car before you buy it. I was feeling good because the buy the car because he told me been full inspection. One profession do a full inspection. Tell me should be test everything before sales. Final hello everyone. If you buy a car, do not trust the seller. What there's no punctuation at all. So yes, I'm just reading. That's it. so bad. This is an as is. I mean, I, I'm reading pretty well for for what this is. Uh, he say, inspect your car how you like it. And I said, I want to talk to Tapas manager. You down here, seller, told me manager cannot do nothing, but I have, but uh, <laughs> I added in the correct words, sorry. But have a nice eye. Tell him I said, I want to talk to, to the manager because I'm not going to leave here from, leave from here. Finally, I speak to the manager and he results of the problem. Wow. Also, he wanted to speak to the tapas manager. Look, like the, it's a, he's not at a, guy, he's not at a Mexican restaurant. He loves so. food. <laughs> he couldn't even stop thinking about food long enough to <laughs> type like the worst review. Oh, let's see. Um, so the dealership said, "I've spoken with the manager, and the problem was with the one key for the truck that you had purchased had a tumbler issue. We did supply you two keys for the truck. We called the key cut person, and that was fixed for you that day. Once we were aware of the issue, anyway. Well, well it seems like a nice, calm, cool, collected." Uh, I mean, sure, they blame the guy, but, like, how do you not blame him with that message? Right. Yeah, I mean, I mean well, he wanted to speak to the tapas manager. He, it just wasn't happening. He like, deserved <laughs> it. Let's see here. Unless that Ford dealership also has a built-in Mexican restaurant. Oh, that would be great. And they, have a, and they have a guy who just manages the tapas. <laughs> he manages all the tapas. <laughs> it's his only job. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on here. Worst experience I've had at the collision center. Uh... Yada, yada, yada. yada. Gave us $11,000 quote thinking the insurance was going to take care of it. After finding out the vehicle wasn't covered, the service manager, Dennis, wanted nothing to do with us. You have to yell that part. <laughs> wanted nothing to do with us. $160 in tow fees and returned the car on a spare tire, a dead battery, fluid lines out, parts missing, and no hood. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed they even did that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm positive he had intent. Oh, no, I'm positive he had intentions to reuse or sell the parts. So it sounds like she took it to a chop shop. Or Zach it took does. it to a chop and, shop. It does. And if you look at the response... I just attempted to call you, but this collision center has nothing to do with Park Ford. Great. Awesome. Right. Okay, so that review is very That's pretty sweet. Relevant. Um So yeah, that's uh Yeah, these yeah, are a pretty good one. Let's see here. Oh well hold on here. Evan specifically was no, that's, yeah. that's really long. We gotta it, you gotta get the ones that are just terrible grammar, short and sweet. Yes. I mean we just read like an entire book right. that with zero punctuation on it. Uh, I mean, the other thing we could be doing is just finding all of the Ram TRXs mm, and are, looking at their markup. Look up the markup. There's, uh, I mean, there are literally TRXs selling at almost a hundred thousand over. I a hundred thousand over. I just saw That's three of nuts. them sell for a hundred sixty thousand dollars. Can you imagine? You Fan, could buy buying a an decent extra, Ferrari, like a nice diesel Ram, as a markup. That's insane. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. I mean, people want TRXs. Okay, well, let's move. I'm going to move on to this one. AJ says to look up the car wizard shop at Omega Auto Clinic. I don't think we can do that. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, man. Oh, Jake, funny, was the collision center actually Hennessy? It probably was Hennessy. <laughs> uh, they also returned my car on fire. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see here. Uh, somebody said, what did, what, did, what did Greg say? He had, had, he had a funny one in Pennsylvania, I feel like. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, see because it sounded like a winner and just anywhere you go what we need, we need to do is a buy here pay here lot i i don't even know if that's worth like yeah. Maybe i mean not. we all have all, yeah uh you know a level of expectations for buy that, here pay yeah. here it should be i want to do the bad. yeah i like to do the let's see here very how bad. do you spell poughkeepsie poughkeepsie let's watch everybody miss make me butcher this I if anybody, no, unless anybody wants to help me out in the comments no idea hey give me two seconds okay hello this is a phone call live on air folks uh, yeah, this is him. Uh, hey, Hipsy. Ah, it's very hard to spell. Yes, that's perfect. Poughkeepsie, um, Toyota. Thanks, you too. Bye. How about that? Anybody? Quickest phone call ever. That was very nice. Business completed. Wow, that's a name. D A C H Wappingers Falls, Toyota. Wappingers Falls. Well, uh, they're the only ones in the area, so let's hit them up. Their their uh, commercials just like wop wop wop. Yeah, see now now everybody nobody else knew how to spell Poughkeepsie either. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I love it. That already sounds like a gangster, Frank Catalano. Ah, uh, he's uh, he no, might be a mobster yeah, or something. Yeah, I'm 
No. He's the owner of the dealership. Oh, yeah. We might get a lot of mob-related things with the area here. We should. Yeah, New York. That'd be sweet. I like it. I like it. Worst experience since 1998. Three cars purchased oh, here. That's never again. Fantastic. Kurt was pushy trying to sell something I didn't want, and his listening skills stink. Stink. They stink. Trying to jack around saying returning a lease now becomes a trade-in. Wrong. That's not. That, wow. I understand. I'd why be upset, too. Wow. All right. I understand. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, Solid review. Uh, bought a truck from them. Was only one year old. Tires and brakes were less than 50%. Was a I asked to get new ones since I spent almost 40k. Manager said, "Should have bought a new truck." Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, oh my god! Sorry. Sat around for two hours for a tire rotation after I made an appointment. Staff was rude and unhelpful. So was the person just sitting there and staff was walking by, <laughs> being rude to them? Like that's what they it probably sounds were. like. They're like, they were like, "God, loser!" They like should. sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> waiting <laughs> i was just thinking they're like sitting there in the chair like on their phone like yeah i can't believe the staff's not talking to me right now uh, i just they, like if the, they would just yeah. come talk to me it's the rude part that like, it's like i said they just kept walking up to him and like just giving him little like little insults and being like god you couldn't rotate your tires yourself and then just walk away again oh my god i can't believe you paid us for this that's amazing let's see uh, here uh bu -bu -bu. strongly so that starts out i was confused Strong, strongly recommend Avoiding this dealership. That's 10 out of 10. Okay. Don't go. Worst service, two hour wait for an oil change and bad customer service. So costumer it's, they've, service. They've just got a two hour That's, solid wait. It says costumer service. Oh, Don't co worry. Costumer. You're <laughs> right. Got to get your costume right. And also I like every, so far every response is, is look, it's copy and pasted. Oh, yeah, Thank yeah. you for your time. Yeah. And you know, you know, F off basically. Yeah. If, wait, hold on. The nitro, they push for your car tires. Oh, okay. Yeah, nitrogen. nitrogen fills. I, I, thought, sure. I thought they were pushing when other kind of nitrogen. When it doesn't work and you have to constantly come back for maintenance, I don't understand. What doesn't work about you the nitrogen? clearly have a leak. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scam. Yeah, nitrogen's not even real. I mean, nitrogen's legit, just uh, pointless. Okay, Places all they did was add full more of nitrogen. Liars, so they lie about that, too. He says I didn't say I was a manager. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Oh, man. Tells me his name's Evan. Gave Gives me the same runaround as Melissa, Melissa did. God, this is Evan and Melissa. <laughs> this place is just full of liars. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and then wow. again, like, ah, sorry. All of these reviews, though, are like, it's like it's a the management service. transition, yeah. though, because all of them are like, I bought three cars here, and now they're terrible. Right. So you do have to kind of like, there's a trend. Right. There's a trend. Oh. I get there, and they didn't order the part for a recall. Somebody said, can you look up Hoovy's old dealership? I don't think the Google reviews are still floating oh, around for yeah, that. yeah, we could. We uh, could. Uh, I don't think that they're around. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fully gone. Uh, I like how you're just putting it out there. Everyone he else knows is what it is. Try Everybody to else it knows yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't even find it. Yeah. Sorry, folks. You know what you can do? Wayback machine. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, then he'll see this and be like, "You guys, whoa, really you, you guys, guys went way too you guys, far. Yeah, you guys t took way too much time to dig into this. The detectives are in. Uh, oh, Paul says nitrogen is just dry air. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right, yeah, stable air. Uh, let's see here. Jackson. Okay, here, here we go. Here's a good one. I like us. how air is eighty percent nitrogen, Ville, so they charge you forty dollars to for the extra twenty percent. I misspelled Jacksonville. Ignore that, everybody. Coggin, okay, right. hold on. Coggin's got two Nissan dealerships in the I, Jacksonville area. I kind of assume that Nissan reviews are going to be yeah. terrible. No yeah, that's why, why I kind of want to check it out. Right. It's like somebody's going to be like, I bought a Rogue, and surprise, it wasn't that failed. good. You know, like, yeah, but they're upset about it. Like, they yeah. weren't just expecting it. Wow, look at that. That's 2,000 five star reviews. That dealership's killing it. Yeah, we got, oh, this one has more. But oh, I, let's wow. just see. Hang on, let's just see. People oh, like, this is the auto body. People shop. like their Nissans here. People like their Nissans. Let's do this one. Okay. Just well, <laughs> here's here's what we're gonna do next. Tra we're gonna, oh, Web Chevrolet Oaklawn. We're gonna call one of these dealerships and just be like, I was reading this review online <laughs> and I'd really like to. <laughs> can you get it? Can you give me an? Oh, this one's three weeks we ago. We should ask our manager first, though. Oh, uh, that's too long. Can we get a manager on the phone? Wanted to get a diagnosis on my vehicle. Yada yada. Uh huh. Uh, I already paid one sixty, but they wouldn't do the alignment. Well, yeah, because it was just a diagnosis. You literally answered your own question there. Ivan Kelly was the worst salesman I we ever had for the second time. The first time, no issues. This time, Ivan did a shady deal, lying to us about different things. No tent strip across the windshield. Ivan Kelly states it's illegal. I mean, it is. If you, yeah. go, if you go below the little notch. Man, they keep naming this guy. I get the tent guy. 
to tent our windshield. Yeah, because tent guys do illegal things. Right. It's the point of having a tent guy. And Ivy Ke- Ivan <laughs> Kelly said, I will get you one. He said it like that probably because he's probably frustrated with the amount of times that he had to like tell a, him. A tent strip's like $45. <laughs> and then you need to go to a tent guy so you can get it illegal, right? Because you want to go to like 20% on your tent strip probably. All right, here we go. This is great. This is a Jacksonville, Florida thing. I got connections at the tax collector's office if they didn't want to produce our tag. Oh, man, he's got connections. He's got connections at the tax collector's office. Like, were you going to send the tax like collector's? Like Judas from the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> I know the tax collector. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I know. Oh, that. good. This is great. Karen, I've never been here. Never I live been in <laughs> One star but, so far. But, this is great. But her frustration. First, it's funny that her name's Karen, right? <laughs> yes. Right out of the gate, we She's got a Karen. Bad Google reviews. A living Karen here. And uh, I've never been here, but the company's been sending me unsolicited emails. And and honestly, if somebody sends me unsolicited emails, like I'm upset too. So. Oh, that's. Funny. I usually just hit unsubscribe. It's not. That I've filled out deal. forms, used links, <laughs> and your spam continues. Here's, Man, you got Karen got way signed Well, up. actually, she did. She put in the the legwork here, filled out forms, and used links. But, I mean. Uh, Wow. Well, if you're using Gmail, there's a cool button that says spam. This is a whole. And then it never comes back. Right. This is a hardcore thing. The worst Nissan dealer in the U.S. Uh-huh. And this guy's probably, I mean, he's, he has to have been to Nissan dealers all <laughs> he's over. He's been to all of them. Yeah, so. Just and it, I had to recall for airbags, and the agent told me they will contact me. I'm still waiting. Ro- Rolando, not, Rolando <laughs> here. their fault. Literally owns so many Nissans, and he's slowly getting all of the recalls right. completed that he went to each dealership. Wow. And now he knows. Let's see here. I thought we had another Karen that said Kathy. People are mad about recalls. Yeah. I don't know how you can be mad about a recall, though. Like, they're still doing it for free. It's free. It's literally free fixes. They're my favorite. Okay, I've well, never, this is their part. I have I don't, never been so offended. Is that what this one? Yeah, this that is? One's a, that's a good one right well, there. Well, I don't really get, Okay, I don't know where Valdosta, Georgia is, but I assume it's not close. I don't know. I mean, Florida, Georgia is not yeah. like, it's yeah, not a huge, it's, I mean, it's three a hours. Florida, Georgia line. I'd, yeah, I'd guess like you know. three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, too far. They had to have Nissan dealership in their area. Yes. It was totally a bait and switch. For years, purchase. Lori Beck, that sounds familiar. Uh, huh. Uh, oh, wait, hold Why, on. Wait a minute. Also, if it's I It's a one star, but it seems to be a really, really good review. Is it? Yeah, Lori Beck is awesome, oh, I'll and she's call, always know. ready. I'm coming, and she's ready for and me. And she even has a lift to take me to work. Wow, one that's pretty star. Sweet. Okay, good. Th- th- here we go. Oh, well. Thank you for your yeah, positive and review. Why did you rate it one star? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because Doug Wells responded, and she didn't care for that. Ah, uh, it's that simple. <laughs> they, <laughs> hey, they put their phone number. Should we Ooh. call Doug Wells? And- Should we call him? Be like, hey, what's up with, uh, <laughs> what's Evelyn, with Evelyn? Evelyn? Evelyn says it's great. <laughs> But her review says, I don't know, I'm confused. And I was thinking about driving all the way from Wichita, Kansas. If you're watching this, please don't call. <laughs> don't, do not don't. call Doug. I didn't even think about the risk Doug's of that. Doug's probably everyone's having a like, great day. Everyone's like, Doug Wells, You're gonna mess give him it a up. call. <laughs> oh, That's man. pretty funny. Let's see here. Somebody, somebody's funny. got one in the comments, I feel like. Je- Sock, Sock Monkey, he's a, he's a viewer of both of our channels. Let's see here. Yeah. App, Apple Chevrolet. Apple Chevrolet. That's where the Apple car is coming from. I, it it I must think. be. Yeah. Th- that's who they contacted. They, they called <laughs> Okay, Apple. Hey, this is Apple. You already Apple, have Apple in your name. Chevrolet. Apple Chevrolet of York. In York? Well, apparently or is it, a, or is it in Tinley Park? Wow. Tinley Park. The Apple zone an entire... It's got to be him because he's in, he's in Chicago. So. All right, all right. Let's, Let's do it. Party. 1,000 Google there, reviews. It looks like that last star is kind of... Yeah, uh, well, it's, not full, it's not filled not in. Not a full star. I finally realized what everyone's saying <laughs> about dealership mechanics. I paid a lot of money to fix my check engine light on your vehicle. It's actually really cheap if you just get rid of the check engine light. Oh. They had my car for three hours. I picked my car up after the work was completed, supposedly. I drove off and the check engine light popped back on. Look, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> but there's some people, like, when the check engine light's on, they're like, we they're, have to panic and yeah, stop. To- they like, tow the car Yeah, they in. pull over. I'm like, look, if that check engine light's not flashing, we're good here. It's we're going. We're going wherever. People are nuts. Uh, <laughs> Ralph said that uh, Valdosta is a really small town in Georgia, and it's not that far from Florida. Oh. So that person was exaggerating. Oh man, they were. Hmm. Thank we you for sh- thank sh- you for clearing that. It's too up. bad we can't respond to the review. We yeah, Google Valdosta, yeah, Georgia, real. and Jacksonville, yeah. Florida, and it's just not that far. Get it together. <laughs> 
Oh well, this is this is their fault too, Chief Joe. <laughs> Six hundred and fourteen miles. Worst, I drove a total six hundred and fourteen miles to look at a flown. Chevy Cruze. First of all, wherever you're from, Chief Joe, there was a Chevy Cruze. There in was your a area. Chevy Cruze. There was one hundred percent a Chevy Cruze. And it was only area. eight thousand dollars. Yeah, and uh, I was the only one that he, he could find in black that he wanted. Wrap it. Yeah, right, dude. A six hundred and fourteen <laughs> miles versus paying for a cheap wrap. I don't know. Oh it's my toss god, up. that's a toss up. I contacted the internet rep as a follow up on that email. Okay, car had noticeable damage, additional scratch on hood, very wasted drive. Ah. Well, it's because, yeah, he said, well, he like, showed up, sent a pic of paint chips on the hood and road rash on one rim. It's like, yeah, and that's every every cruise. Uh, uh, yeah, I, w- <laughs> I would say most cruises are B. It's not like there's any where people are like, I got to take care of this cruise. It's going to be a collector cruise. Right. So I'm just thinking that dealership probably would have taken Ooh, care of the problem. This is one of those uh, very good things. I will never buy from that dealership, and the salesman should retire. I, he's not, he just shouldn't get fired. He's like, he should sail off into the sunset. It's his time. <laughs> that guy's done. He's just, you know, cash it he's in. He's out of here. That's great. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, hang on. He edited this one. Parts and service departments are terrible. Edit. Nothing good. Just look. Oh, well, that wasn't an edit. Okay, that's too long. Hold on. Dr. K- did you get a fly? Yeah, Did man. you just catch that? I just sniped it. Holy crap. You guys see that? That was freaking ninja like. <laughs> that was insane. I play a lot of Call of Duty. I don't really. Uh, ooh, hey, this this sounds good. Emerald DJ said, "Do Victorville Motors? It's Dodge Jeep awesome. Chrysler, and it has a 3.6 awesome. star rating it's overall. Actually, we, we have just to keep do finding that. like perfect because we want yeah. that where it's just like it's mostly yeah. bad. That's fantastic. Uh, you know, Rusty X got to be really bad. Oh, I know. It's like well under four. Victorville, what is this? Victorville Motors. Okay, Jeep dealer sounds about right. Yeah, look, my grandmother has a 2018 cruise, and it's still okay still. Still okay, well, that's, good. She's, that's she's, exactly she's, what I expect. She's got a rare... The expectations met, actually. Solid car if you want to drive a car around. Okay, this is great. Yeah, three no, 3.6 stars, so it's improved. It's, I mean... Complete joke. I asked for gap insurance. Yeah, go, oh, go back okay, up okay, what is this? Thing. Oh. They did not put that in my contract. AC Would went not out. even look at my car, and the AC went out 45 days after purchasing the car. But, like... Oh, that's fantastic, though. Even this. I can't even get my registration because they sent it to an address I can't receive mail to. That's pretty annoying. But, (laughs) like, did you offer to pay them to take a look at the AC? Probably not. (laughs) No. It's been 45 days. Free. Uh, Service, service. A lot of these are service. Buyers beware. And also, like, why would you go to a dealership for AC service? Go Like, the Car Ninja charges, like, $99. Yeah. Everybody, every shop I know charges, like, $99. Please go to them and not to a dealership that's going to charge you, like, minimum $200, $300. I'm sorry. This is just so long, and there was something about a PTSD episode. So I'm like, what? This is a legit book. I, I, I don't even want to make you guys Legit. read through this entire thing, but it's just something about they had to leave before a PTSD episode hmm. set in. Uh, wow. A lot of language in this review. Yeah, at five effing times. <laughs> uh, something Completely disrespectful and ignorant. Yeah. These folks need to learn how to chill and stop being so money hungry. Maybe if you actually approach the situation properly. Okay, we got to keep going. Yeah, this, this is, is a, too long. It's a pointless Long video. story short. Uh, and I, but let me guess. Watch this. More. Long story short, it's not that short. It's a yeah. It's a paragraph. Yeah, it's not too bad. Purchased a 60k Six, car ooh, good, in good, two good. weeks. The fel- fog light f- housing fell off. The service department didn't care, and it's accused a, me of doing so. See? It's a Chrysler, guys. I mean, like it, my Hellcat had like noticeable like paint problems like under the hood. It it just those memes. It's true. The piece cost happens. twenty eight dollars, so I paid for it. Later, it had a defect with the GPS. It also required a wheel alignment. They had my car for two days and hadn't done anything. Meanwhile, I was struggling to get to work. Of course, buying a sixty k car does not make me worthy of a loaner car. It's a Chrysler dealership. You don't yeah. get a loaner car at this. Everyone had them. Yeah. Like the dealership game was cool for a while there. Right. Everybody had loaners, and now you, you, you have to qualify. It has yeah, to be like it's, something that is super not your fault. Yeah. And they're gonna have your car for more than one day. That's like the only yeah. reason they'll give you a loaner. Yeah. Or if you just bought the car and it's not going back in for service. Yeah. Or if it's BMW. Or Mercedes, Lexus, uh, Acura, you'll get a loaner car. Right. In fact, well, no, I got a loaner car one time at Dodge, but you know what they gave me? The Journey. The Journey? It was the, uh, so I got, like, at the time, the, I had, like, the most expensive car you could get at the time because the this, Trackhawk wasn't out. This is the conversation like, the with the Journey. You're like, yeah. here's your loaner car, sir. No, I know. And I got it. And, and you like, just, like, you just, like, give it back yeah, to Yeah, I know. I should have been like, I'll walk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Slide it back my over. bicycle. No, it was re- it was laughable. I mean, I'm glad I got a loaner, but it was like one That's of those funny. really a journey. This is the absolute worst car you guys have. Um, yeah, oh wait, this, this one's his review looked pretty legit. 
V- Vic says do mega motors. That's that one that screws everybody over. The oh one. yeah, we yeah, kind of yeah, should. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, mega we, motors. But I kind of want to see a few more of these. They're Hang legitimately on. bad, but uh, like expectations. Bad customer service. Waited for like thirty minutes before anyone before anyone helped me. Employee who helped me was rude. Hmm. Well, your <laughs> and your business means, means a lot, lot to us, us Fabian. <laughs> disappointed to hear. Disappointed. Honestly, I never write bad reviews, but in the service department, was some of the worst customer service I ever experienced. Very direct, demanding, rude, and almost irritated to ask questions. Expecting me to just sign invoice without reviewing it. Uh, a predatorial sales tactic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm emailing Jeep directly. Here, you know, Jeep's probably like, whatever. Yeah. At this point, like, the disconnect is so big between the manufacturers and the dealers. It's really bad. Right. You, you have to mess up so many times. And Martin, I'm not hating on... Dodge, obviously, I loved mine. I was just saying that yeah. they have they have quality issues yeah. across the board. Kind of, it's just it's okay. It's not a big deal. I still, I still bought it. Those Jeep. are called quirks, man. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I I love GM. I love all the oh, American this. ones. I, got, I just love now I'm like seeing it in my preview. I'm cutting my own head off here. Oh, I like it. I like it's it. It's great. Uh, but I'm just trying to spice it up for everybody here. Oh no. There you go. Here. Um, let's see. But is the journey better than the caliber? I think the journey is slightly faster than the caliber. Man, I have. It, I've I don't driven know. The the cal- both. I would rather drive the caliber because at least it's smaller. Yeah, it's kind of sporty. Like sometimes. the journey is a three-row SUV with the same motor, and it's just. You know what I've noticed though? Terrible. Calibers are on the road for a long time. There are. You see them. Yeah, you, you like do all see the them. time. Which and means the, that and most the, of them must be two hundred thousand yeah. miles right and now. And the Jeep Compass is a Dodge Caliber, and you see those all the time. You do. So. You do. That's going to be the next car that lasts forever. Three yeah. hundred. Uh, sports and touring, that's a good gets a good point. He said, I wonder if some of these people who never write bad reviews write bad reviews about every company they're a customer of. 100%. 100%. Yeah, this guy, I, I bet. I never write bad I reviews. almost am curious, Brian, right? He has 13 reviews. He actually. Uh, we can we can investigate this, he has, actually. The intro is like a cut and paste form yeah. out, of, out of his notes. Yeah, I know, everything that he says <laughs> I is, never I write never bad write bad reviews. reviews. In fact, we're, thank you. We're going to investigate what else he's reviewed. He's a level three. He is. I, what do you get points for? Oh, because he's almost a local guy, or he is a local guide. Yeah, also, Sheer realty, if realty, you post pictures, realty. it's like a big deal. Oh, hold on. Yeah, he has done deal. Apple Valley Auto Spa, too. Ah, what did he say about the auto spa? Let's see. I need to know his thoughts. Oh, oh, he said, great job. Even being slammed, the owner came out to help and always do a great job. So he might he might never write bad reviews. There you go. Good dude. He, uh, Apple Valley Auto Spa. Let's see, though. I Sheer realty. That dude's legit. He just he didn't care there. Yeah, he just took, well, now he, we're just doing a deep dive on Brian. I honestly... Also, look how he spells his name. B-R-Y-E-N. Huh? Oh, my gosh. Interesting. I'm going to do a review. I'm going to one-star that name. If you take a look at... Take a gander at the address there. They're both at the exact same spot in the oh. same suite, which makes me think that's his, his real estate yeah. company. You think he would have... posting pictures of yeah, it. Yeah, you think he would have left a, a fire review for himself. But yeah. No. Ex- uh, you know, excellent agents... All my home buying problems were resolved before I even asked. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see here. Anybody got? Uh, let's just check out Mega Motors. That is inching towards a buy here, pay here. Mega Motors. Yeah. Is, isn't it? Isn't that like it's? That's the one that's. It's worse than buy here, pay here. But what is? It's there? like only one thousand. Oh, they have more cars, than one. But all the cars are worth two hundred dollars. They have more than one. Uh, I think the Duncanville one's the one you want. I'm pretty sure it should have the worst reviews in the world. 2.6 start, but only 97 reviews. I'm from Kansas, so selling these lemons is definitely against the law. First of all, it's not. (laughs) First of all, Tanya, do you understand what lemons means? It means it's a brand new car. And that's the end of it. You can't have a lemon when it's used. There's like one scenario where you can. Yeah. Uh, This is an old $300 like Chrysler Sabring. And she's like, I tried to lemon law it, and my lawyer said no. (laughs) <laughs> this one's great. Employee passed gas while on a test drive. Disgusting. Then the car broke down. <laughs> well, it was because of the gas. Worst of all, worst of all, it was the and dead of summer, ate. and that man ate dairy. How do you know what the man ate? <laughs> Oh, these reviews are amazing. <laughs> these reviews are amazing. Yeah, why didn't we start here? This is this is it. Uh, this Kevin, is it. the cost of suck. You better be off going, going to auction. To auction. Well. <laughs> Here's my question for you, Kevin. Are you a dealer? So how are you going to the auction? Oh, my God. If you were a dealer. And he's he, a local guy. He's left a lot of reviews. He wouldn't be reviewing Mega Motors if he was a dealer. That's true. What's that? This is a, I'm going to crack open a cold one. Ah, seltzer never water. Never mind. Yeah, not good. Not do you want a, one? No, not at all. Look at that, what guys. What do you have with Everyone's sugar? Everyone's going to be it? like, uh, I might have a Dr. Pepper. I'd be, I'd be down might. for one of those. Yeah. I love those. 
Oh, this is freaking great, though. Uh, their customer this service. is a lie. There's no way. Because look at this. It goes from, like, a guy farted in the car, and then it broke down. This guy passed a cottage cheese fart in the dead of summer, and then the car broke down. And then the next person's like, it was great. And then the next person is, like, this worst is experience either of one my of their entire friends life. Or yeah. somebody that's just trolling. Like, is somebody... Yeah, there's, like, the Reddit group that's against yeah. this dealership, right? And then this guy was like, I'm going to leave a five-star right now. Great deal. They saved me tons of money on my car insurance. Like... I mean, look at this, though. This is your fault, though. I'm going to be broke. Forgive. Forgive. Might, they probably meant to say for life over a POS car. Here's the thing. Some All of junk. their cars are $1,000. I like this one, though. Look at this. Not looking too good. <laughs> we'll give update later. <laughs> that's like an, uh, that's a pending review. Nine months ago. Though. But I'll tell you what. It's not looking good. <laughs> that guy is still at home, like, every couple days just checking up on Mega Motors. Oh, my God. I got to finish that review. I haven't done it yet. I had to spend more on repairs oh than God. I did for Hold down on. payment. I'm sorry, it's me look at the Mississippi Boys production. Mississippi Boys. This guy's, this guy's got mixtapes. I guarantee it. Uh, please make this your last payment, your last option, or just not an option at all. Hold I on. will say all of Mega Motors cars now are at least fourteen hundred dollars. Oh, look at this. You know how I know, you know how I know Olga's an employee. I am on my second car from this location. I am not an employee. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely works. She's uh, Olga is. For sure. She's HR an or, or yeah. at least a manager. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, selling okay. nothing but junk cars, the honest working. Freaking class people. These cars are not worth Man. going to see. Okay, look, period, point blank. I wouldn't go here. I look, uh, JV videos. I bought a car for 200 down. They let you buy a car for 200 down? Dude, yeah, I'm down. Let's That's go. crazy. Everyone else, all, all buy here, pay here is they pretty much charge you the price of the car. Is the down yeah, well, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah much. like 1500 bucks. That's what they paid for the car, and all the rest is profit. This place is actually kind of kind of a deal, two hundred dollar down yeah, payment. That's a lot. I mean, of course, you know, like it's the worst, but okay. They I highly get recommend the cars you call for five hundred and jack the price up to three thousand. Yes, right. so that's, that's what they do. That's they a make buy here, they, pay here. they make the money by selling uh -huh. the same car three plus times. Right, that's what they want. They jack the price up to three thousand. They only get ten payments, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, after those ten payments, they go get the car, sell it again, and that five hundred dollar car. Right. Makes yeah. them a ton of money. It, honestly, when they're that bad, though, like the <laughs> junk I've seen them selling, you probably don't even want to repo it. No, it's like, no, gross. Keep it. You paid the down payment. I like all. another another employee. It was all good. It was all good. It was all good. Call me son of Curtis James. <laughs> I like these, these names are great. Okay, son of Curtis okay, James. Okay, uh, so son of Curtis James says uh, something, something. But add anywhere between three and $500 on it to getting there. Oh, after getting there. So they hit you with a $200 down payment. Right. And then bump it up 300 to 500 which is probably the sales tax or tag title license. I don't... Go off on... Go Buckner. off on Buckner. Best Mega Motors in Dallas. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is not a good place to buy a car. <laughs> Weird people and wrecked cars. That's pretty much... That's great. That's it? That's it? Uh, oh. Knowing they sell lemons. Look, you can't sell lemons oh, when it's used. Here, let's try... Somebody, somebody else gave us another big... Uh, well, let's... We, we can come back to this. I do like Mega Motors, but I do like this. Somebody just gave me, it sounds like the exact kind of lot I want to see. All right. Somebody said, uh, Big Bills in Milwaukee. I've, oh, no, Bills Motors in Dallas or something is actually a good dealership. Big Bills. Big Bills. I like it because all of this Battle stuff Star is Galactica. 3.3 stars. Okay. This is This is great. Because I love it because I'm sure the guy's name is Bill, but I like that it's like, they're kind of being like, it's just going to cost you big bills to be. Big bills. Bills. Beats. Let's see here. Battlestar uh, Galactica. Steelers is a scam. They put Band-Aids on their car, so they seem fine. They fall apart when you go home. It was like, yeah, that's every one of these kind of dealers ever. Uh, blah, 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 blah. They're going to kill somebody with their shoddy mechanics. You're assuming they have a mechanic, and that's, that's your problem. Failure they're to disclose serious structural issues on their vehicles. Look, that's hard. That's hard to do. At this point, with Carfax, that's hard. Okay, so first of all, this name, God's Child Before the Womb. <laughs> Four. <laughs> cradle, to the, cradle to the Grave. Four is like whatever. that. Yeah, anyway. A man um, drove out with a car that was nothing. Smoking. Oh, smoking. I can't read. Literally, the, Literally car was smoking. the car was smoking. Myself, along with the man who I was with, Told me to look at the car and said why they think we'll buy a smoking car. We drove know. off without even looking at the vehicle. Now you did. You looked at it because that's why you're telling me the review. Also, how old is this person now? They're like, when you're in my 20s. And it's like, 
Are, are, are they in their 30s that was now? Like, like, is it that did, was 17 years ago? Yeah, did they go back and I've write never gone back. another review? That's never. Bought my Rav Four three and a half months ago, and, and tomorrow, a scrap, scrap man's man coming. coming to haul it away. <laughs> that scrap man got a deal. <laughs> man, the subframe was so rusted out. My, my my mechanic told me to get rid of it. He said I was one pothole away from having the engine fall out. Look, your mechanic might have exaggerated. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff holding the engine in, even when the motor mounts fail. <laughs> like the transmission. Okay, and then getting the getting an oil change had nothing to do with why the car had to be junked. Hmm. Oh, here's it's because the response said, "Sorry, maybe you should have changed your oil." Essentially, I like how the on, very important on a two thousand dollar car or any car. Look, look at that; they just called him or called hey, her out. They're like, "Hey, hey man, look, Melissa, you bought if a two thousand dollar car." You would have changed the oil. Car. That rust wouldn't have been there. That's it, <laughs> Melissa. That it's so it's it is your fault. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh, I warned him about these people. Uh, if you guys were good people, then you would give that lady her money <laughs> back after her car caught on fire after only 22 oh minutes. Oh my god, after 22 <laughs> minutes. She left there and the car just ignited. That's this actually is, impressive. That's that has that a ton of likes. Like, that might have been a big deal. That's super funny. Oh, look. Uh, Life of Paul's is in here. Hey, he said he's in here. What's, up? what's up, Aaron? Uh, oh look, God, we're talking though. about this dealership here. Look at this. And if they were good people... They'd they would have given this lady, lady money back. She only had 22 minutes in this, and she was so excited. Imagine. She left big bills. I hope she had insurance, though, and, I mean, she might have gotten, like, paid out of that deal. She left big bills high. She was a new car. Yep. And probably didn't even make it to Arby's before <laughs> that thing was in flames. That is, that is I am uh, so sorry. And also, James is writing this on her behalf. Uh, yeah. 29 likes, Woman though. could have been killed. Okay. Okay, this is all about that lady. Is it? Oh, pretty it, much. Oh, yeah, because 22 oh, yeah. minutes later, this must have been on the news. Yeah, it does sound like a news kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Chair doesn't have a beard. Uh, they oh, that's great. Looks to be a junkyard, but the way it's set up and the quality of the cars. Can't even park to look at the vehicles. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, yep, yep, man. Yep. Uh, what else we have? Uh, it's sad when you're scraping by this, though, and they, still manage to save enough to do a car only to have it burst into flames. This is all about okay. that lady. Well, yeah, but this one is fine. I've really, okay, first of all, it's from Yana, the one and only. Yana, the one and only. Uh, but they sold me a car with overused brakes. Overused brakes. So were they just like, were they smoking when she got there? <laughs> they were like, you've been, you've been these are they, hot. These are overused. Yeah, overused. Uh, uh, denied service at first, suddenly fixed them when they say supposedly got vaccine check. I know it's a, it just looks like that. It needs roll, it needed rollers instead of rotors. Brakes. <laughs> Jake had a funny. If Apple Chevrolet doesn't give you an iPhone with every purchase, <laughs> I'm out. Uh, new wheels. Oh, paid twenty three hundred with plates of three hundred dollars. Never gotten them. Horrible service. If I could rate zero, I most definitely would. After two months purchasing the car, my children won't accept me. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh, for my children and me. I, I <laughs> oh, accept as well. Oh, I didn't know you were reading that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my children have just left. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so bad. I was like, this dealership's so bad. My family left me. <laughs> uh, I went to Big Bills uh, and now. Uh, Oh, no. Except, uh, oh, I, I definitely learned a valuable lesson. You can answer it. I'm sure you can get the whole call knocked out in like 30 seconds. No, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> if, if anybody saw that, it was, it was Jacob's mom. I, I, know, I, I don't know. I don't know what she wants. I know. <laughs> and I'm sure it was I can't. I'm sure I, I can't like, help oh, her. I, I know who it is. <laughs> oh, look, here we go. I'm in Denver, Colorado, leaving a, leaving a review for mm -hmm. a dealership in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the 22 minutes later. Yeah. This, this must have been national news. Yeah, it must have been big news. How do they have 3.3 stars? Oh, I almost want to reviews. actually Re now refund her money. Okay, let's yeah. look at highest rating. I recently purchased a vehicle here. They were great to work with. Seem to have my best interest in mind. I doubt that. Ooh, here, how about this most or newest? A I week had ago, five days later. But he, but two stars. So they were go. like they're like eh. yeah. It was like that one guy where he's like not looking good. That's still <laughs> my favorite review. Two stars, not looking good. Not looking good, but <laughs> we'll give you an update in the future, but we uh, might not give you an update in the oh, future. Oh, good. This one's oh, three weeks ago. That's the, oh, that's my guy. 20s. Yada, my 20s. Yada, yada, yada. Five star, five star. Great service. Great service, bad cars. That's Man, that should be their motto. I auto assume <laughs> that if, some, if there's a rating that has yeah. five stars and there's nothing under it, it's like you text your friend, you're like, yo, can you review my page real quick yeah. to get my, get my oh, reviews up? For sure. <laughs> look DeAndre how many there Champion. are. And look, all these look fake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, DeAndre this dude Champion. bought these reviews. He Ileana. bought the reviews to save the dealership. Look at this. Carmen San Diego. Carmen San Diego. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is amazing. That dealership is straight up buying reviews. This is great. You oh, can totally this one, do no, this. This one's good, though. Five stars go to hell. You can, this is a real <laughs> thing. You can hop on the old Fiverr and order all the Google reviews you want for probably five bucks, probably a couple hundred, and that dude saved his dealership. 
Oh my god. Hey, thanks, Ant. This was uh, from Su Sports, Sports and Touring. Tour. Great live session. Deserving of Super Chat. Keep doing what you're doing, Elliot, and thanks for all your support. Well, thank you, man. That was yeah. awesome. We appreciate thanks that. Thanks for watching. Look at this. It's no, just it's so all easy. fake. Yeah, because all lowercase, right? Ileana Gilmore. And clearly all like uh, Brianna. These names are all from a randomizer. And then all uppercase, all from a randomizer. Mm -hmm. It's all spelled weird, like Jordan Lucky Johnson. Turner. Lucky Turner. Lucky Turner. Bentley, Bentley Gordon. This These guy went hard on the fake reviews. I oh, love yeah. it. Well, probably because it was, it, imagine what it was before. What if, can we buy him some fake one-star reviews? Fake bad reviews? Dude, Hold I, on. All right, I'm going to hop on Fiverr right now. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can help out here. Oh, uh, let's uh, see here. Okay. Oh, that's pretty funny. Somebody was like, now we know where Carmen San Diego is. <laughs> we yes, found they're, at, they're at Big Bills in Milwaukee. I got the Fiverr app on my oh, phone. Oh, boy. I'm All sorry, right. Big Bills. Sign in. RIP. I'm going to try to help you out here. I'm going to try to make this fair. I'm even logged in, bro. We're good. Continue. <laughs> Continue. Okay. Oh, we got to put in a code. Let me uh, let me go back to a, to a big ticket dealership here again. All Just right. like a, a, a stock one, like we know. Um... Hey, your package has been delivered. Hey, what'd you get? It's a title. Ooh. Oh, I know what it's for. <laughs> yeah, okay, never do. mind. I was like, what? Uh, yeah, you can't talk yeah. about that. Volvo of, oh, uh, it's Facebook Reads. Okay, so maybe though. There we go. Um, I got the code. I kind of want to see if they have bad Google reviews. Volvo of, I don't even know how you say that. What? Wakusha? Google. Wakesha? Reviews. A lot of reviews here. Hey. Okay. We're going back full screen, folks. Now we're... Uh, ba, 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 ba. All of this is SEO. I need somebody to help me out with some reviews. <laughs> <laughs> we could just report it because it's against the TOS to buy reviews. Oh, telephone. Or the really messed up thing is to buy the reviews and report it. <laughs> for breaking the TOS. So you do it and then <laughs> you can you can you can take out people's whole like thing like that. Uh, that'll we'll see, Randy, this one's bad. John the reviews. only good person. See, the thing that's it's uh, okay, hold on here. This guy seems like he's got a bone to pick. Okay, what a garbage experience. For an update, guys, we're at Fields Volvo Cars of Wakesha. Wiseco Ice. Uh, yeah, so he says, what a garbage experience. I own an auto repair shop. So I was like, okay, well, that's your problem. Could do your own, go to no, your own No, this place. is actually, this seems really legit. Okay, the, the condescending attitude. He needed ability. parts for, oh, like, a customer gotcha, gotcha, car, gotcha. and they, yeah, that that sounds right. That okay, sounds I didn't read the whole thing. I thought he was just going to be like, I own an auto repair shop. I know a thing should be That done. dude's review is on point, and that sounds like a dealership. Yep. Well, here's, the, okay, Matthew, again, this is on you. You bought an Audi Q5 from a Volvo dealership. <laughs> That obviously bought that from an auction, yeah. and then your yeah. uh, let's see here, it I, consumed I, that was like multiple liters of oil, kind which of on the dealership. is all of it. Yeah, it, no, multiple no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, you figure like even my r 8s engine it, in the oh, manual, it's got a lot. Yeah. It says that yeah. every thousand miles it should that's fair. Like burn a quart. That's oh, like, that's wild. What Audis will burn? Okay, sorry, I've been corrected. It's Waukesha. Yeah, there you go. I was, I'm over here being like Waukesha. <laughs> so multiple liters of oil. How many thousands of miles did he put on it? That's the real question. Uh, but, but, yeah. It's not, it's kind of not the problem. Ooh, this is good though. Not, they dodge his phone calls. That's, that's great. That's hmm. norm, normal stuff. D oh, Luigi. Zero stars. I already liked this because it was like, dear Luigi. Look at that. I was that. like, what is A this? A Volvo owner with the most baller Volvo there is. Yes, the XC90. And was told they could not do it and to find a local tire repair place to do the work. What, how do the, how does this dealership not do tires? Like tires are the number one thing you do as a dealership. That's you got to make the cars look nice, so you put new tires on them. Hold on, this one has a... This one's got... Oh, Weird. no, no, no. We're not doing this. I'm sorry, Weird. folks. That this guy is, wrote it. This is a long time. I'm just trying to hit bullet points. Oh, wow. Number one, why would I want to go anywhere near that dealership again? And it's a lease with prepaid maintenance. And, like, I... That is just long. His review looks legit. It's legit bad. Oh, good. I decided to browse around the Jaguars. They have a Jaguar section oh. at this dealership, oh, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, going for my... While well, waiting for my boyfriend's car to finish service. Not a good idea. Wandering Bruce around there by yourself. at some point. Violently screaming about how he was the boss. What? This made my boyfriend and I uncomfortable, so we left. Hmm. Okay. Um, we apologize for the experience. Men are not allowed to scream. <laughs> that, that should be what it says. Yes. For real. <laughs> uh, this made my boyfriend and I feel, I feel uncomfortable. Okay. We now pass sense. out earmuffs. 
Parts department <laughs> does not answer the phone. That sounds right. No parts department answers the phone. Well, this, yeah, I mean, I'd be upset about that. It is. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like the one thing you need from a dealership. But OEM goodness. parts. But the internet has kind of like solved that problem. Well, this sucks. I will say this. Uh, you two and Hoovy. Oh, hmm. yeah. I don't know if uh, actually we might get in trouble. Oh, I, Hoovy I like, first of all, thank you for the super chat. Very awesome. Uh, they said, you know, watching you two and Hoovy uh, Barrett Jackson on TV, you should critique his commentary job. I would, but I don't know how YouTube feels if I start streaming live TV. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, they, the filter yeah. might like auto catch it. So they they yeah. probably wouldn't like it, but trust me, I watched it all last night and. Yeah, this he's is actually a, doing a great job. This is a weird one here. Came in to buy a car, made an appointment the day before. The salesman didn't show up and no one else helped us. That's like, they really don't want to sell cars. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, uh, AJ just hit us with a new one. Dallas Truck World. I like the sound of it. Pretty funny. Uh, just bought a 16 Cadillac SRX from Ooh. the Steeler in April 17. Was extremely satisfied with the salesman. And also Alexis, they were polite and courteous and like one star. Dang. They really helped that guy, girl out and no, nah, just not about it. So... Let's see here. AJ's doing the legwork, though. Look at okay, this. Okay. Now, he's, now he has North Hills Auto in North Richmond Hills, Texas. 2.8 stars overall. That's even probably with fakes. Let's this hit that is, up. Uh, look at all these one stars. At least none of it's fake. Yeah. Not good. Not good. Off Ro with service. Rockstar Bauer. Off with service. <laughs> overall, satisfied. Satisfied three stars. <laughs> Wait, there's more. He upped it. He keeps going back. All okay. No, a book. I'm not doing it. It's let's a go, book. Let's go back to whatever uh, I AJ said here. Them. Of course, now everybody can see what's happening on my TV or on the computer. So oh. somebody's like, Paula called. Paula called. <laughs> I'm like, I know. Uh, thank you. Here, uh, where is it? Here. here, hold on, hold on. Let me fix your computer. Uh, is it, uh, how, do, is you, it? What? how it do you doing? do the side thing? It's four fingers usually. Oh, it's because you're doing oh, it over there. Oh, <laughs> man, my bad. It's okay, uh, just, well, oh, here, here. It's right there in control center. No, it's it's not gonna happen uh -huh. anymore. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Look at this, guys. He's a whiz. You never know. Do not disturb on the Mac. Okay. Gold. But, hold on, where is it? Uh buh, 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 buh. Where is it? Okay. North Hills Auto in North Richland Hills. Hit it. North North Hills Auto. That's just great. Cars Somebody's like cars and bids because they saw my tad. Oh, we can be might. Auto. Uh where is it? Rich Did you see how baller that Volvo dealership looks? Has a full glass fascia. Man, Hills Auto. It's all those bad reviews, because they spent all that money on the dealership. Two point eight. This must be what he's talking about. But it's only got 10, 10 reviews. But you know, we'll... uh, it's two fingers from the right side control center. Uh, it always pops up on my Mac when I don't want it. Uh, is this what we're looking at? It's it's just got ten, but I mean, it's still bad. Mm. Fair, no nonsense car buying experience. Blight and helpful. Price advertised one price on Saturday and Monday went up fifteen hundred dollars. Look, cars do that. Yeah. I wanted to go buy a bolt the other day, right? It was twenty four thousand dollars. And I went back two weeks later, it was twenty six thousand dollars. <laughs> and I went back two weeks later, it's now thirty two thousand dollars. Same bolt? The same bolt. I was like, hmm. what? I'll give you twenty four thousand dollars for this car. I wasn't even gonna give him that. Twenty two thousand dollars. High octane exotics, ooh. I like the uh, sound of that. CNC Motors after Ooh, all the drama. Yeah, it's CNC Motors now that it's really... <laughs> one star, one star, one star. A CNC always seemed like they were legit before. Okay, so I don't know what this means. Translated by Google. They are culeros. It did not translate this very well. Son os unos Original. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that means. No idea. Okay, this... I, I was, shouldn't say it on the internet. Yeah, hold on, though. What was it? Octane Exotics? Because I would love exotics. to hear somebody being like, I bought a Ferrari, and, and it turns out it wasn't... It wasn't even it, a real Ferrari. Yeah, it's like it was like a kit car. I had no idea. Octane and exotics. No, no, no. No, high octane. But where is it at? High though? octane. Oh, it, is it high octane there you exotics? Go. Yeah. 93 octane only. We should call it, make a dealership called 93 octane. And of course, it's all. Um, dang. Yeah, dude, it's too throw, generic. Throw a dealership in there. Throw it in, man. Throw it in. Don't you guys love watching people browse? Yeah. RP exotics? No, that's Parker's place. It's like the most legit dealership in the world. Okay. Now this isn't happening, unfortunately. If you guys, Hyper, if you I guys love this need hyper car dealership. RP Exotics is gold. Shout out RP Exotics. <laughs> Boom. My boy Parker moved okay. so many twin turbo supercars. Oh, yeah. God. Probably should have told somebody to answer the phone. Unhook the phones. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, we are curated in Miami. No, we are curated. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, Jaguar Land Rover Merritt Island, Florida. We are curators. Reviews are like perfect. Yeah. Perfect. 
perfect. Overpriced by $100,000, perfect. I'm sorry that uh, Wadley, Alabama Fire Department was destroyed by a tornado last night. Huh. I'm sorry. Um, okay, hold on, a AJ again. The reviews. Called for a fire, it wasn't there. It's messed up. Okay, hold on, Furman Chevy in Tampa, Florida. I've, it's, Furman Chevy. It's, uh, Tampa, Florida's always funny. <clears throat> Oh, geez. Noob here. Furman Chevy of Tampa. Look at that. It's like it knows. It's probably because it can hear me. Everything's listening. It's listening. You're never safe. Yep. Anybody, ever. Anyway. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Lowest let's rating. Let's see. So Service department always takes 20 minutes to greet you. Won't prorate a tire on a vehicle with under 20,000 miles. First, they should be. Yeah. Probably. Probably they should. Yeah, uh, won't price car. match online deals. Okay, that's, a, that's up to them. Tried to sell me a new car, even though I just got this one last year. If I didn't have an existing service plan with them, I wouldn't come back. The service guys are friendly. Got the car back, didn't reset the computer, cannot display tire information. Now it is back inside. You can do that yourself. You okay. just cycle the key like oh, three times. It's a Chevy that's super easy. Masks. Super L legit easy. street car Chicago. <laughs> that's not a dealer. It's not a dealer, that's a channel. <laughs> If he has Google reviews, though, I would Google. like to read them. Legit street cars. <laughs> yeah, he's got like a really fast fourth gen F body. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, like five stars. Five stars. Seems like nice guy. One star. Uh, beat me in a race Wasn't, once. Hey, that was a whole uh, uh, Black Mirror episode where you could rate people. Remember? Oh, like China's yeah. uh, social rating system. Yeah. yeah, that's real. Let's see here. That's real. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, I tried numerous times to do business with this dealership, but every time I've been here, five times or well, something last, I can't get anyone to so, speak to. So it. once a year, Brett, yeah. Barrett, let's be, you know, they don't, they just can't even get anybody to speak to me. So what this leads to me is that Barrett has even, despite his, God, no, stop. <laughs> I'm in the thing. Hey, but do not disturb though. I know. Uh, it uh, is working. It works. Um, well, Hello, oh, no, Barry. yeah, so the salesman won't talk to me, basically. I think that he just has an off-putting appearance or something. <laughs> because, I mean, what is it? Like, every time he goes there, everyone's like, oh, God, and, like, walks away from him. <laughs> that guy, he oh, always, unlikely. he shows up in, like, a Tyvek suit with yeah. a mask yeah. off. Yeah, <laughs> like, I like, oh, jeez. <laughs> everyone does, every, all the salesman knows goes him, and then everyone just walks away. <laughs> knows goes <laughs> oh. oh, man, that's pretty hilarious. That's pretty hilarious. But, I mean, every, every experience he has, he's like, I still can't get the help. Way too corporate. It's corporate, yeah, it's corporate policy to not talk to customers. <laughs> Took my car in on Thursday at my appointment time, but they wouldn't get to it until the next day, which was okay. When I got my recommendation of services, I needed at 10 a.m. No one answered the phone, and the only people I spoke to was the receptionist. They knew my number. Okay, this is just, just pointless. All right, well, yeah. they didn't offer a loaner. Yeah. Because oh, it's a dealership. Oh, Corvette. Da, 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 da. Had to have a tire wheel sensor replaced in a 2010 Corvette. And it was, wow, that is so cheap, bro. Yeah. $89 for a TPMS sensor and you're mad? Uh, the ones in the C5 Corvette are 150 each, part, part cost. Yikes. I do think the new one is the $32 sensor, but like, uh, he signed blah, blah. them after being harassed all day. Hi, Sir Ocelot. Hi, guys. Um, let's see here. Per wait, go back up Purchase to that 2015. One. It's got real info in it. Oh. Bought a 2015 Chevy Colorado, broke down five days later and transmission went out, brought it back, traded it in for an 18 Colorado. Uh, okay. That's one way to fix that problem. First it's season. right in price, was 3000 less than what I had finance and tacked onto my... Okay, so they're upside down because they not have bought a new car. Right. No. Hold on though, I know you were telling me now, <clears throat> now I have to bring the truck back. Yeah, and make it more uh, noises. Well, okay, so quit buying Colorados if they're not working out for you. I love the Colorado, I the five-cylinder But, I mean, one. if you're having a so bad experience, good. you're like, man, this was terrible. Mm -hmm. Another one. <laughs> like, it's just, that's, that's your fault. Instantaneously. Uh, yeah. ooh, that's a good question. How many likes for you guys to go find the dealership with the worst review <laughs> and buy their cheapest car? <laughs> God, I would love to do, uh, like, a hidden camera thing at Mega Motors because it just sounds so Oh, man, that would bad. be freaking funny. We should go there. Don't be fooled by the advertised prices. Calling about a cash price that would end up costing me nearly 4 k over. Yeah, yeah, that happens. I would assume they're all liars. Oh, hold on. Two months ago, I sat down in the smoking section. Did they, they, they have, have a, smoking a smoking section? Is that even legal? It has to be like a class A club yeah, in Kansas. What? Like you have to, ha you have to spend big money to have. I haven't a smoking been section. anywhere in years. And that was two months ago. I've been anywhere yeah. in years that had a smoking section. I mean, the airport has those like those areas. Oh, they do. Where they just like box. They it do. In, and it looks like just a smoky mess. They lie and try to cheat you. I'm too smart for that. That's all we needed to read. Gotcha. Tamantha, was that her name? Go back up. Tamantha. Tamantha. Okay. Okay, Tamantha. Just get them down here was the Madden. 
What? Madden 19 right there. She loves to play Madden. Sweet. Or I guess Madden 2021 now. And she officially did shame on Furman shame, Chevy. Shame, shame. <laughs> uh, oh my god, that's actually kind of funny. Does does Copart have Google reviews? Huh. It's like every single Copart one is like, I bought a car from here and was wrecked. Right, right. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Should I check this one? Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, you definitely got to see. Gotta if we can do a live, if it's a live person, I'll Hello? definitely talk to him. Hey. Oh, how's it going, Martin? Uh, this is a real phone call, guys. Uh, uh, I got the one that said oh. that you needed the tune files to not be in a zip, but I was wondering. I like you have a base file for this turbo setup, right? Bosch Maserati. I like I like the Maserati idea because if a bunch of people buying Ghiblis. Look, guys, I'm solo. Um, okay, hold on. Bosch Maserati. That oh, in Norwood. Let's do it. Nine hundred reviews. That's they're pretty positive, though. Let's see here. Lowest rating. Huh. Ooh, Ryan Brooks, parts manager, is an absolute disgrace to the brand. Yeah. Let's see. I just want to hear. I just want to see upset Ghibli owners. Oh my God. Poor experience. Uh, I thought it'd be a purchase of premium. Ah, oh, it's way too long. Oh, this is great. Lizeth, on my way to the casino. <laughs> I noticed tire pressure was dropping quickly. I pulled to the rest area and discovered I have a flat. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to scan through this to make sure if she still made it to the casino. Because that's, what, that's what's important. If you're, if you're driving your Maserati to the casino and you have a low tire, that's when you need to Uber the rest of the way to the casino so you can gamble it and make the repair costs back. That's the only answer. So let's see. Oh, my God. This is so long. Um, roadside assistance, yada, yada, yada. It was never towed out until 4 p.m. the next day. So I'm, I'm obviously skimming here, but this lady left her Maserati on the side of the road the next day. That is fantastic. Uh, bah, 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 bah. It is now, okay. They've had her vehicle since June 3rd. It's now June 27th. I mean, this was a flat tire. That is pretty, that is pretty unacceptable. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, when Elliot works on cars, he just stamps with his notary stamp with a witness to notarize the repair. I should. I wish I, that could be used as payment. But rotor, motor, ah, man, notary rule number one is actually you can't notarize your own stuff, which is, I guess it's the, the notary's curse is what I guess I could call it. I can't notarize anything for myself. It sucks. But then again, I rarely have anything that needs to be notarized. So it's okay. Um, let's see here. While we're hanging out, let's just go back to Mega Motors because John Ross had real business to take care of. <laughs> yes, she abandoned the, uh, the Maserati. Let's see here. And Joe, yeah, I do like Maserati because I have one in the background, but they wouldn't even see this one. Uh, they, they would turn me away. Uh, let's see here. Oh, man, you're breaking down. <laughs> we needed more computers. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, no, you actually have stuff to do. We're trying to tune Gabe's uh, car right now, and that was the company that's, uh, that's going to it? work on the files. So they need the original files that I pulled off the car, and I was like, well, I'll, I'll get them right now. I got to tune it tonight. Perfect. Tonight. Oh, hang on. Delana White says, I'm back to Mega Motors, by the way. Okay. Um, I bought a car last Friday. At 11 a.m. and it stopped running around 7 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. That's basically my uh, F-250 <clears throat> last week. Uh, hey, okay. it's fixed and it's dead. They don't check on anything before they sell. Waste of money, waste of $400. So, so wait, I'm guessing that was their down payment. That was probably the whole car. Because, I mean, yeah, it's probably worth $400. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I but, also... But it's a zip-off. Yeah, that's what I was going to get to. It's, 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 I'll never come back. Like, total total zip-off. It's such a zip-off. I got zipped. Which is a fantastic pair of shorts. you uh, gotta, you got to rock zip-offs. Yep, there's They're that. Back. Yeah, I hope they've come it's back also, this year. It's also the thing from, uh, what's that show? Blind Spot. Zip. Blind Spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good show. That was a good show. Um, They're con artists on a professional level. I don't think they are. Every other, uh, they're actually really bad. Ever, car yeah. Car I was like, everyone I knows what's going on. I don't think they're a good car artist. Cause like everyone here is just like, yeah, this is a crappy car and it doesn't stay running for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, you bought it from that terrible dealership <laughs> where everyone said, please don't buy it here. Con artists. Those guys try to go unnoticed. Yeah. 
so Michael's made this comment before. He said, when are you going to buy an RX-8 so you can call it the notary's rotary? <laughs> or I can be the motory, notary with a rotary. And fun story, before I was YouTubing, I actually did have an RX-8. And it was okay. Yeah. It was a good, it, it was a low mileage one and it was fine. I didn't personally have any problems with it, but I started to, you just have all those worries. Like you can't cut it off cold. You're worried about it having a problem. You know, you got to add oil all the time. It was, it was a stressful experience considering I never had anything wrong. Yeah. And I'm driving, I was driving back and forth from Wichita to Missouri to college. And I mean, it's a, it's a rotary and it was seriously cruising at 4,500 RPMs for just like five hours. And I was always like, man, I know that's just kind of the nature of this, but I hate it. <laughs> hey, never mind. Uh, I'm talking to Martin about your tune. Let's see here. Okay, bye. Todd Larry's reviews at Cars Now KC. That's, that sounds good. Let's see here. Cars Now KC. Huh? Cars Now KC. Those guys are actually legit, though. Are they? Yeah, that's the guy that has all the YouTube videos that are hilarious. And he's like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's like, 400 bucks gets you a car and it's probably trash and, you know, it's on you. Oh, yeah, that's where it's like if yeah. if the transmission ain't If the transmission ain't slipping. slipping yeah. It's, uh, yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. That's this, that guy. I didn't realize it was the same place. First of all, he deserves all five stars. They sell yeah. their cars as junk on purpose. Right. So anything, so this is, I'm, I'm going in assuming everybody's wrong here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Uh, worst experience of my life, rude, unprofessional, and extremely. I'm assuming that they're like, all right, you want a car? And then you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. I got 600 bucks. They're like, this is your car. <laughs> okay, hold on. This is kind of funny. It's just the way that they worded it. They you're not buying from this lot. They were all lemons, and they will repo your stuff when you have kids and a disabled grandmother in a gas station. They wait until you have kids <laughs> yeah. and a disabled they're like, grandmother. They're like, all right, this lady's got, no, got her hands gotta full. Go. We got to get them. We got to repo her car she right can now. never stop us. <laughs> We're too powerful. Oh my God. It was like, well, that's the thing. You wait until she puts that disabled grandmother in the gas station. And that's when you, you yank the car back. Look at that. They let her drive it for months. We oh repoed the car at a, at, a, at a McDonald's, not a gas station. And her husband was driving while she was at lunch. Oh, you liar, Terry. I like how they're like completely honest. This place is so honest about everything. Oh they're my like, God. Look. Oh, this is, that's actually great because the responses are funny. They're not the, we yeah. apologize and we'd no. like to earn your business back. They're like, dude. And it's not even like calling them out. It's just all the facts. Yeah. They're just like, all right, Sierra was sold a car and drove the car for nine months and blew the head gasket. After the oil was checked and didn't need changed, oh. uh, we changed the oil if needed. We got the car back, lack of payments, owing communication over 30 days. The car was trashed due to lack of maintenance and the owner is the owner's responsibility. We could tell lack of maintenance by the oil being completely black. Okay, you're, that's like a stretch. And no proof of any oil changes due to the fact that we mark each oil filter. Okay. Yeah. She never okay. tagged it. The tags were disposed of after 30 days. Right. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> okay. Okay. So not going to lie. It was a good little truck, but he sold us bad batteries old and gas cap needed to be replaced. And the belt is loose. So it sounds like every so car like on that $79, lot. $79, yeah. a $10 gas cap. That's a deal. I got, got a smoking deal. And I went in he for the He probably could have flipped it. And Scott. It's okay if you need a quick ride. There you go. Deron Johnson. Two stars, though. He's like, he's like, it's all right. I almost want to go buy a car from him. I know. I, I kind of do, too. I like the honesty. Yeah. Wonderful customer service. Scott, yeah. the owner, has been flexible. Travis, thank you for your super chat. And because of that, we've got to check that out. Uh, Apple Auto Sales Boom. in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's where we're going. I'm into it. Cars Now KC has terrible reviews, but might be the most honest dealership ever. That's my review of Flip. Apple Auto Sales, Charlotte. Wait, hold on. Look at this. It auto-populated uh, Apple Auto Sales, Wichita, Kansas. I didn't know we had one. I can't, I think we do. I think there's a big Apple on the, on the thing. It's pretty funny. Okay, Apple Auto Sales. Uh, Let's see here. Oh, it's at 2800 Freedom Drive. Sky. Every good dealership is on a street like that. Sky Redline Tune. Oh, I wasn't going to say what the car was, but I just did it. I mean, it's been on the channel before. Well, yeah, but we're working on it again. It's okay. Yeah, true, 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 true. Right, right. Oh my God. Okay. So Cashley, by the way, nice name. Uh, very rude, disgusted with how the owner treated my mother. <laughs> like what, what did he possibly do to her? Ooh, look at this though. The response from the mother? owner, no. some people who can't make their payments blame the wrong people for their inability to pay. We don't sell cars for free. See, this is Boom. like, they're just calling them out. That was sweet. This is a right off the bat. Good suggestion, Travis. Yeah. That is hilarious. That's how you know the dealership's lying. Oh it's my so God. All I can say is, please don't ever come back. <laughs> oh my God, these are great. Okay, I don't even want to read this. It's just like something, something, yada, yada, yada. Oh, you're a high risk driver. Okay. Uh, that guy remembers everyone too. Yeah. Like I remember her. She was high Total risk. Total scam. And also nothing is humane 
about a person who keeps somebody's money just because they feel like it. <laughs> I've never heard a dealership been called inhumane. They're like, they keep their salesmen in cages. <laughs> uh, the feeling is mutual, okay. So, my, uh, okay. Look at these log files. Since we're looking at, like, mm. wingdings. This. This dude was like, yeah, man, I'm looking at the log files last night. With what? Your yeah. robot eyes? <laughs> yeah. I know you guys can't see it, but just it, just imagine, yeah, essentially. 44 megabytes a, of trash. A, alien <laughs> alien graphics and. Uh, That's yeah. hilarious. Okay. Hilarious, guys. I've never been treated so poorly in my Pretty life. Pretty funny. Uh, blah, it was blah, not blah. necessary to have the vehicle towed to Charlotte NC. I offer to reimburse you for having the vehicle repaired a reputable. No, okay, that okay. guy sounds. Uh, that's. I love chill this owner so much. Uh, bra, haha. -ha. Bra. <laughs> this joint been robbing the west side of Charlotte for years. <laughs> Rob. I went here to look at a car, 150,000 miles for 10 grand. LOL. I was like, why'd you go look at it? Uh, going away like the rest of the Wilkinson Boulevard bandits. Good I assume riddance. Wilkinson's yeah. like Broadway here. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, it's the buy here, pay here. Uh, the, Our cars uh, are the best. Yeah, we've been here for 29 years, and we're going nowhere. Shazam! <laughs> the Shazam is amazing, actually. This is amazing. <laughs> I, I the love this The next one says, Bazinga! Yeah. You're a terrible customer. <laughs> oh, my God. Places are ridiculous. It went at $8,500 for a 2004 vehicle that has been in two wrecks. How? <laughs> You're obviously mistaken. We don't have a single vehicle <laughs> on our lot like that expensive. They're like, we would never have a car for $8,500. That's insane. Uh... Uh, you will be reported to Google. You'll be reported to Google. That's great. Reported. Kai and B. Cars and bids? Car, cars, cars and bids. Cars and bids. Wrote this review. And then they reported him to Google. Oh, this is great. Pathetic. After signing the contract, his true colors come out. Like, he signs the contract. He's like, aha. <laughs> he starts, starts being really mean to him. Oh, my Changes God. Changes into a suit. Looks However, like a Monopoly I man. searched through 28 years of customer data, and your name does not show up as a customer. Hmm. Oh, okay. He was like, call me. <laughs> this place sucks. Call me, bro. Salespeople are rude and their cars are lemons. Okay. And again, we no record of you. Please let us know why you're dissatisfied with us. Two, I'm one interested star, one star. in. Please let us know how we failed. Uh, they're going to get better from here. Yeah. Although this was three stars. I went out, stayed 15 minutes. No one came to speak to me, but they're still okay. They're pretty happy with the dealership. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't want to talk to them either. Oh, look at this. Stars. Oh, my God. Look at this response. Uh, we were on. We're a tiny dealership and sometimes unable to come outside. Did you enter the front door and say, hello, is anybody in there? Sometimes we are already out helping a client. Sometimes we're in the back office or the restroom or in the shop area. We apologize for not meeting your expectations. I love this so much. The last much. line is gold. That's us over. Uh, we hope you come back and see us again. We value you as, as a potential customer. Please forgive us for failing you. Please Sincerely. forgive us for failing you. Jeez. We have failed you. It's unbelievable. We'll, uh, we won't do that again. All right, where are we going now? It's up just, let's see here. Uh, AJ tossed one out there. Anybody else, like I said, feel free for these suggestions because we're, you know, we're doing this on the fly. <laughs> Thank you for your kind review. Oh, it's only four stars, bro. So David said, hi, Elliot. The response yeah. should have said, what can we do to earn that fourth star? Right, for real. Actually, that's Good a really star. high rating. Yeah, it's it just is. that the owner is fantastic. Thank you for your kind words. Uh... Yeah, David asked what I did before YouTube. Well, I still do... I still, I still do job. <laughs> still job. Uh, and I, yes, I have always been a car guy. Let's look up McLaren. Yes, just to <laughs> see if their own fans be like, you should give Brooks a chance, just like any <laughs> McLaren dealership. I, I am curious. Google. Drag times. Drag times good. Travis, thank you again McLaren for your bad. super chat. Um, let's see, just McLaren of what? Uh, McLaren of Houston. Okay. You know how we always go to car dealerships, right? Because yeah. it's like the car place to see some right. cool stuff. And then every time we go to a car dealership, we're like, what a waste. Yeah. Like, this was terrible. We went to McLaren Houston this weekend. And, like, it was the most off-the-chain car dealership I've been in really? in a long time. Because it was just Brian and I, right? And there's, like, three cars inside. Mm. Walk in. And I was like, eh, whatever. You guys GT. were also driving the right well, cars yeah, to yeah. show Well, yeah, yeah. We showed up at the right You didn't show up but in the Kia Rio. But we walked over. Yeah. Like, the Lambo and the Porsche were at Lamborghini. We weren't, like, uh, we, right, right. so we just okay. walked up to McLaren. And uh, there's, like, a 720 GT. And we're like, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then there's a Senna. So we talked about the Senna for a bit. And the dude was like, all right, come in the back. And he, like, hits a button. And the garage door <laughs> opens up. He's like, you can't take a single picture of this car. Don't let me see your phones come out of your pocket. And it was, like, some, it was some crazy... 
VIN 11 MSO car. I don't even know what it was. Was it, it the not Sabre? A was it the Sabre? It was a Sabre. Yeah. It was, that's yeah the, so that's it was the, the VIN 11 one. Sabre with the like magnetically aligned paint where it all is oh, like standing up the same direction. That's so cool. That car was so incredible. And then they're like, oh yeah, and here's a speed tail with the platinum badges. <laughs> there was like a hundred million dollars dollars of cars in the back. And I was actually impressed for once. Evia. It was cool. That's pretty cool. There were there were no Brooks reviews. Hold on. No. We got Evia Auto Sales. So yeah, most car dealerships Great. terrible and yes. boring. And uh, McLaren and most Houston, exotics, yeah, are off the very, very most exotics. It's really boring. Very yeah, because all exotics are exactly the same. So it's just so boring. Exactly like you said. Green Ben's home. Elva. I can't believe I forgot the saber. I kept wanting to call it the Elva because that's the drama. Yeah, I wish it was the Elva. Ooh, I'm over here. I got to transition back. Look at that. I'm being being so cool. Mr. Cool with the technology over here. <laughs> uh, I like this. They don't respond to squat. If you want your vehicles to have issues two weeks after you purchase it, <laughs> McLaren Elva sales is the one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. If you want to buy a lemon, Evia will sell you something sour. That is it. Okay. That's pretty I like good. that. I like that, Kelly. Pretty good. I like it. Good review there. Um, that's too long. We just need to get these. <laughs> Somebody's a rusty Eck Ford. Yeah, we we probably could. But we could hit up some locals because we know. Awful. I Hold got on. Car not sold even me. A year sold ago. me with no horn. Oh. Two days after I got it. Well, if, if well, that's I mean, the case, return she, it. Sarah, you got to check the horn. No. Every every test drive I go on, I'm just laying on it. <laughs> when you had to do your like never your driving test, yeah. they made you check the horn. Yeah, you're like every day, get in there, honk it, just make sure. <laughs> make sure it works. <laughs> if it doesn't work, you're gonna have some problems. Every down the road. morning, your neighbors are so annoyed. Be like, God, this guy freaking honks. <laughs> every day he every wakes day, up. Every day it's checks it for at least ten seconds because that's just a good number. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I noticed the pop when I turned my wheels, told it was normal for that car. Come to find out from another shop, and you need $1,500 in the front end. I mean, it's a used car. So, PD, I'm sorry. PD did K. He's like, why didn't you get JR Dr. Pepper? I didn't. I'm sorry. <sighs> Where is it I at? Don't even know. I don't even know if we have any oh, okay, okay. in the fridge. But I do have some of those sparkling waters if you're if you're still into it. <laughs> Sock Monkey still wants us to do CarMax, but I think that CarMax is going to generally have CarMax's good, reviews they are don't like... Because they don't buy bad cars. Yeah, all their cars are like... Their buyers are insanely good. The best buyers in the game. And right. all their cars are nice, and they just overcharge for, like, a good experience right. and a nice car. Like, you get exactly what you, you get. The, that's the kind of dealership yeah. that you could send your mom, sister, cousin, whatever, and just go, hey, you just want to not think about it. Just right. no questions. You're not yeah. going to get a bad car. Just go there. The best thing is I don't have to think about it if I send somebody there because I know yes. when it breaks, they're coming to me. Right. And that's the that's last thing true. I want. <laughs> so go to CarMax and just buy a nice car. Hold on. Don't bother. They cob their vehicles. To work. They cob them. Honor their warranties. Corn cob. Oh, they don't honor their warranties. A uh, person is told once you buy a car, it's between you and the finance company. What is the finance company going to do about it? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it to my worst enemy. Oh, man. Very good and sell cars that won't pass inspections. Okay. How does a junkyard have bad reviews? Hit that up. Smitty Salvage and Supply. Yeah, we got to do that. We got to check it out. Well, <laughs> nobody wants your waters, you yuppie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot's like, here's the hey, complete selection of sparkling waters. Guys, there's nothing more refreshing lives. than a plain <laughs> sparkling water. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, Do you want that sparkling? No, I want normal water. Somebody said, watch JR go auto sales. One star. Took my Audi A6 in for an engine swap. Still waiting. Still <laughs> six, six, seven months in. They tried to sell me some oh, weird man. Buick SUV instead. I think he means that. Uh, <laughs> he was like, you want an XUV? Uh, let's see here. Smitty's. Swapped your A6 for an Aztec. Salvage yard. I like the name of it, though. 4.2? Is this not the right nah, one? It's got to be the wrong one. Great reviews over here. But Marshall, Kansas. Mm. Now, where is it? Hold on. Carmax. It it's not Carmax's fault that my truck's broke. Where is it? Here. Smitty's. Oh, salvage and supply. Let's see here. Well, maybe that'll help. Okay, Green Bay. That sounds better. Boom, 2.1. Oh, yes. I just love this. People reviews. are going to be like, it's junk. <laughs> they sold me junk. <laughs> I went there and told them it was my first time, and I got yelled at for it. <laughs> it's it's my your first time, time in a junkyard? Get out of here. We don't want first-timers here. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> you have to be an experienced oh salvage yard God. goer. That's so funny. They're Horrible like, place. They're like really excited. They're like, yay, junkyard day. And they're like, What? It was my first time. Okay, also, really bad customer service. It's a junkyard. They're like, 
yeah, go look around. Yeah, like, exactly. that's, yeah. <laughs> everyone at a junkyard. That's what they tell you. Yeah, to man, do. there might be some parts in the back. Like, if there's not, it's on you. Oh my god. The owner is rude no matters whatsoever. No matter. Okay, no said manners. manners. Okay. okay. Wouldn't go back telling all my friends not to go there unless they want to get into it with the owner. A little on the shady side. Absolutely joke to work with. Zero respect. Off, off on the phone. I after I ask for a simple photo of the part. Oh, I see. He put a bunch of punctuation in there. I gotcha. There. Okay. 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 Lack of dignity and pride. Go someplace else. They don't deserve your service. I stopped in. To <laughs> Hold on, this one's funny. I stopped in Whoa. for my first and last time to inquire about a metal ladder I visible from ladder. the road. They were driving by and they just were like, "Whoa, what? I gotta have that." Hang on. Oh As my I God! Look at this. He walked to the office. Couldn't get a word out before the man behind the desk verbally attacked me <laughs> for stopping to look at the merchandise. Get out! Get out! We when I turned to the here. when I turned to the woman in the office, I was told an outrageous price. When I questioned her, I was told what a deal it was since it was $10 off the store price. When I stated this was a junkyard, not a store, I was again verbally attacked. I would recommend paying full price at a reputable company before sh shopping there again. That is so funny. So she went, she went in there, Michelle, saw a ladder that she absolutely had to, have, had to have. Walked in there like, hey, what about that ladder? And that guy was like, you stop <laughs> looking at my supplies. Right, right. And then this and other then, lady was like on Lowe's.com. Yeah. And then she looked over and she's like, ma'am, can you we'll take 10 me? bucks off? Oh, my God. And that's then so funny. today we learned uh, a junkyard is not a store. And Paul, I know it's unflavored sparkling water is not for everybody. It's a bold. <laughs> it's a bold move. It's a bold move. But but it's oh, healthy. Man. I got a battery from here. Why would you buy a battery from a junkyard? It's junk. They ask me to go outside. Keep David, in mind that David, it's my David asks, what is the notary requirement for the blind in Kansas? That, uh, I don't think you can mm, weird. do it. Maybe it depends on how blind. Absolutely the worst bunch. Of, not only did I interrupt his lunch, but there's apparently <laughs> no garbage to put the bags after he was done with the cans, but stood there and made sure I didn't. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, make sure he didn't, he didn't toss this them on the This guy was eating lunch or yeah, like. Yeah, what's going on? The attitude of these people is freaking ridiculous. I love that so far every customer, it's like there's one guy there that is like, get out of my, he's like, get out of my swamp. He's the Shrek of this junkyard. The one, uh, <laughs> the one salvage yard that's like really close that I like to deal with has like, if you call them, like you have, I mean, ruined their day. That's the great. minute you call, they're so angry. That's so great. They're like, yeah. So what's up with grumpy? Yeah. We might have that car. Grumpy scrap. All right. Owners. Get off the phone. It's just yeah. like a salvage yard. They hate you. Yeah. Like they don't want you there. <laughs> They want to deal with the companies that are just sending in orders. So, I mean, this is just like normal salvage yard stuff. I'm not surprised. Yeah, go somewhere else. Like Johnny's junk. Hmm, Johnny's junk. He's, maybe he's the friendly salvage yard guy. Yeah, it sounds like those guys hate Yeah, it sounds like your experience. Super rude and acts annoyed when you call oh, just yeah. to even get details. Hmm. They're not going to give you details. Yeah, and asked about mileage, and the response was, too old to care about mileage. Take it or leave it. I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, it's well, hold on. And then look at this. Fun. I need a phone call. Thank you. Uh, Smitty hung up on me. Smitty himself. Uh, what is his highest review? Find, find, yeah, find his five star. Yeah, There's let's see. Some if somebody's stars. just like, I bought a ladder, paid full. I called this price, guy. And I he was really angry, and I loved it. I have, I have to, to say, say I, I wasn't reviews. sure what. Yeah. Why did you even read reviews for a salvage yard? Why didn't you just call them and ask they, for the part? They had what I needed. Staff was friendly. Okay, they were not. Yeah. There's no chance. That review's fake. Very fair, Great easy to upload and friendly. These are lies. In and out. I've never been in a salvage yard where anybody was cool. Like, they're the people in the yard are awesome, and the people in the front office are, I mean, angry, angry. A AJ, you've got a point. Flavored water does taste like that, but like I was going to step beyond that. Unflavored, just just sparkle. What? <laughs> uh, best place ever. Been going here since a kid. Always treat with respect. Oh right, they let a kid run around there. <laughs> And then he's old enough to go buy, and they're like, that's great. Uh, went in with rotors, came back out with cash. Uh, was it like $7? Um, well, we're reading good things. Oh, here's another one. Like bad <laughs> reviews. But he still didn't give Barry, Baron Broke Brokowitz. I'm trying to hit more. Oh, you don't have yeah. to tap to click on. No, Your dude. laptop's broken. No, I just don't have it on. <laughs> laptop's broken. They have a Porsche 911 engine there in the office along with stuffed animals they were talking about. Hmm. Okay, well, in that case, they're cool then if they have stuffed animals. <laughs> they must be doing okay to keep alive. <laughs> How many bags? Always rude and they don't talk to you. Two stars. That's pretty fair Good. review. <laughs> Still, right. we're back to that. I got yelled at for it. Uh, well, okay, because we've we got to kind of wind down here. Yep. Let's, 
Uh, we'll leave Mega Motors up because that's pretty funny. Mega Motors is good. I do want to. I do just want to see where are we going. What happened here? I just was taking a look. This this is just enraging, Jake. I'm sure this crispy ZHP. It looks pretty perfect. It's an auto. Mmm, I like that. But it is. But it is really cool. I like it. Um, I know we just like we, people are like what's driving. going on. We're like reading junkyard reviews. I'm like here cars and bids. Uh, no, I just this, wanted to is see. Is this like SMG or something? Is that no, it's not. It's just oh, it's a hydraulic it's the auto. Oh, yeah, right. five speed. There you go. Yeah. Huh. No, let's. Uh, we can do it. How and much is that thing selling? Oh, 10 grand. 10 grand That's about right. But it's gonna go for, yeah. for higher. Hold on. No, I want to buy that. You want to buy it? You want to bid it? No, bid not that. The that Model Three or something. Oh. I don't want to Ooh. drive to the shop. See, I actually saw this, by the way, uh -huh. and I really want it because it's brown on brown on That's brown. actually a weird And respect. check this out. Yeah. Ready? It's Ready? Not it's, an S. It's stick, though. A stick, non-S, brown on brown on brown. Factory Mini nav. Yep. With, with that. Navigation. But it's, something's wrong with it, I think. What's oh, wrong? maybe it's not. Power windows, lock screws, but it's buy here, pay here. Oh, it. hold on. However, oh, it blows white it smoke needs an when engine. started. It needs an engine. See, I would have bought this because that's like it's like a great price. It's a hilarious car. It's like the yeah. least it's the least desirable mini possible, probably. Kind of weirdly cool with factory yeah. nav and the mini is awesome. I love it. Thanks, I hate see I Thanks, knew Jake would take it. Jake it. <laughs> What's next? Here yeah, we go. You keep going. That's where we're going. I do love I do love those. The second the, gen smart. The second gen I smart. really wish I had gotten to drive when Bob had the stick shift. Your mouse just doesn't work, bro. Street Rods Kansas. That's, Guys call them. They've yeah. got a fresh rod. It's <laughs> <laughs> It's one of the ones with wheelie bars on the back, you know? Dude, that'd be sweet. It's already Busa swapped. <laughs> Dude, what did they... Did they duck... What happened here to the previous license plate? I don't know. That seems like a lot of money, though. Like, a lot of money. It does. It's loaded. Yeah. Uh, I've driven others, and they weren't... They didn't have color screens. That thing's fully loaded. You know, it's cruise wow. control, which is loaded. Wow, that thing is sick. All the options for a Smart. Pretty rare. Yeah, and those... that The gauge pods are an option. Mm -hmm. Yep. Somebody spent thirty thousand dollars on that car. Can you believe that? That was like because the base price was like twenty. Something. That is wild. Here we go. Hand wound Stratocaster, Stratocaster pickup. Pick cool. Oh wait, now we're getting into. Oh, oh, did you see that? This has nothing to do with anything. But I mean, <laughs> okay, that's actually it's pretty, pretty funny. funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Hi Samuel. He says hi. But twelve dollars. I don't know if it's worth twelve dollars because this is the picture. This is the joke. Then yeah. it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you what do yeah. you do? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, it's kind of gross to use. Yeah. Ooh. That's weird. But who doesn't want a model of an LLV? One of the coolest sounds ever. Look at that. Yep. Fifteen bucks. Not all right. bad. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, I know. I'm getting sidetracked on this. Real sidetracked. Ooh, a Barth. Uh huh. Topeka. You've you've been down that road. Yeah, I've been there. Conquest. Three. Got to keep it between the navigational boots. Let's see. Check out that. What is this? This? Oh. Or this? It's, it's what do you want to see? The free. The free mini? Like old school mini, though. Yeah. Aircon. With Aircon. I don't Price believe you. Price four, 460K. This is, he wants $460,000. It's definitely not in the U.S. It's Yeah, it's absolute. How did this get recommended to me? What's your... Uh, I'm not even on a VPN or anything right now. Like? But whatever. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, stuff. I used to drive one of those around once, and the police said I tried to run from the minute, even though the top speed's 65 mile an hour, and I was just driving down the road. Hmm. He was like, next time, don't run. I was like, this is a 60 Mini Cooper. Dude. I'm not running. I was just driving. R8 mod. R8 mod. Look, yeah, it's clearly it's, on an R8. It's on an R8. Yeah, You've got to get a cat I'm, I'm sticker. I'm on a hard no. <laughs> hard no. What is this screaming? Yeah, I don't understand. Okay. Garbage 2.0. That's what it, <laughs> well, that's what it is. Oh, great. We clicked on one mini, and now we're just getting all, all minis. minis. Okay. Um, For an 04, that was way overpriced at 10 grand. That's the LS1 one. Oh, AJ's like, yeah, that spam account that's been messaging me. Wish Auto Parts. I don't think there are reviews on Wish Auto Parts. Oh, no, somebody did have a good one about Copart, though. Let's, Some, let's somebody got the uh, keep it between the navigational buoys reference there. Where, where's our is, – is Kansas City the closest one? No, we got Copart, Wichita. Do we? Yeah, buy cars there. Right down the street. I bet the I reviews are pretty good. 3.9. Not yeah. looking good, actually. Let's see. I just want to, like I said, my favorite they, they thing They loaded here my car up with if, a loader. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Refuse to let me pick up my cars. What's funny is these should all be dealership owners for right. the most part. Like, all of these people should be truly in the auto game. Uh, workers act like they're scared of him, can't speak up. I'm sure they're scared to lose their jobs. 
Uh, okay, employees give different information about everything. Fees and charges are outrageous. Very regret getting the membership. Okay, what's next? My total vehicle was towed here. When I went to retrieve my tag, uh, my tag has been up for no reason. My KU tag cover, yeah. oh man. I know you hate the click. No. My uh, locking tag bolts are missing. They did a terrible job of, I, of locking. Unbelievable. <laughs> Those tag bolts cost almost 13 cents each. And, oh my I god, mean, and of course, and of course the manager tag. didn't care about it. My uh, tag cover was missing. And it was bent. So I was given a card with an O-L. Well. <laughs> they gave him a card that said, oh, here, I've got something for your problems. <laughs> it just says, oh, well. That's amazing. Like, oh. That is amazing. They just have, like, a whole stack of greeting oh cards. Oh, my God. It's... And it says, like, sorry for your loss. And they Oops. Just, like, Oops. It's just a card. That's fantastic. Okay, that's, that is actually amazing. Rude personnel manager. Overcharging us $500. First of all, when you look at the fees for Copart, it's, yeah, it's like nuts. 17 pages of stuff. And, like, you're going to get hit with massive fees no oh, matter what. Pablo helped us out on that mini. 460,000 pesos or is 22,000. 22 grand. Wow. You could buy that car like perfect and imported for 22 grand. Oh, and you'd still have to import it. Oh, cause it's, you're buying yeah. it in pesos. That's wild. Um, let's see here. Manager rude. A lot of, a lot of hate on the manager. Yeah. Okay, and this is just five percent on your auction. This total. is just Copart's That's business right. policy. Like, that sucks that. that they're they do charge hitting. you a lot of money to shop there. Yeah, and, and especially when you use a credit card, it hurts even more. Like if you don't bring them, yeah. You know, what's what's terrible is they don't want you to pay them like any normal method. It like has to be a wire transfer or a certified check or something like that. Like it's ridiculous, and they charge you like uh, some crazy percentage to use your card. That's crazy. Crazy. Um, b -b 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 they won't take cash either, which is hilarious. Sold with key. Picked up no key. But two stars. Well, uh, you can be mad about it. Look that. how he spells Steve. S-T-E-A-V-E. -E. St Steve. 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 <laughs> uh, let's see if this tune's here yet. By the way, guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, drop them here. Because can, I can kind of transition into more comment, answer, question and answer type thing. Because I, I think we got about 10 or 15 here. and Yeah. 10 or 15 left. So <clears throat> comment away. Like, uh, we're, we're here. Wichita location has great people. They were fine when I buy cars there. It's not a big deal. What was this? But lots of fees. Caveat emptor. Yep. Okay. That's facts. Uh, they have a huge selection. It's relatively clean and well organized. You know what, though? Actually, let's go to ones that we know are going to be good, like Rusty Eck Ford. Mm. We're going to hit local, guys. Uh, all of Rusty X Ford reviews uh, are, uh, I bought a car here, they let me take it home, I've been driving it for three weeks, and they called back and said the deal's not financed yep. and returned the car. Yep. Salespeople are scam artists. I mean, it's yeah. just straight up scam. Straight up. Okay, so he said, how are the cats? The cats are good. Um, I had to pick up one from the vet, obviously, so one's doing better than the other, but <laughs> they, are, they are doing fine. One slightly broken, three yeah. out of ten. And that's also confusing, I forgot, because I show different cats. I've got cats here, I've got cats at home. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got like a couple of cats everywhere. The cat pretty multiverse. Much, pretty much where, everywhere that I go. I get it. I get it, man. And Lots this guy, of... uh, not my name, has been really, I, I feel bad now. You've been really hammering the Saturn Ion questions. I, I like the Saturn Ion. I think the Saturn Ion red line's cool. I think it's cool looking. Mm -hmm. It's got the cool spoiler. Electric power steering. Got a Center supercharger. Gauges. No, it's turbocharged. Early ones are supercharged. Are they? Yeah, because oh, so. they have the roots right. type yeah. on the like the front. It's like angled down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like because it's cobalt SS. Yeah, it's cobalt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Intercooled on the turbo one. Mm. Mm. Syrup tipped waffles answering the hard, asking the hard question: Perrier or San Pellegrino? I'm a Perrier man, honestly. <laughs> a little bit more bubbles, and I, it's available in like every gas station. And sometimes when you're uh, on a road trip, you don't want to deal with a glass bottle, uh, which is sense. which is the the Pellegrino. But you know, you're at a restaurant. Pellegrino, you know, sometimes that's offered and it's, it feels nicer. Okay, but, I guess I did try it once. I thought I was going to be cool, right? Oh, you thought so it was because okay. you're at a nice restaurant and they bring it to you with the no, towel? No, no, no. I, like, I, I was at uh, work and our cafeteria had it. It was funny and you had to like buy it, right? Yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm going to get this and I'm going to put some of those like uh, drops in it. The oh, that is drops. not going to work. It was the nastiest <laughs> thing. Oh, it was a mistake. Mistakes that is funny. I threw that whole bottle away. I bet. Okay, let's see here. I'm sure... I have to, I'm not sure. Okay, first of all, one star. I'm not sure. I have, I have to, to say, say, I will give it only one star. Phil Lucky, for this is a good day for me. <laughs> you can't give them zero stars, so you really you just kind of hit the default. Yeah, but I like this because you, you should feel lucky. It's uh, a good I'm day. I'm actually interested here. The service department need better representative tech. 
the communication and helpful that is needed and the staff would help if you didn't purchase a vehicle there the, uh, you can't purchase a good ford <laughs> elsewhere you can purchase a good ford elsewhere but you sure and heck can't take it into a ford dealership they would make sure and try um yeah okay the bear blue that is hilarious he said is jake the, <laughs> the wizard's homeless looking brother <laughs> uh yes probably some days Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, no and Jake, answer. Jake's going to be in here. It's I hope too. Jake's going to be like, Hey, uh, yeah, shortly after buying my 2015 F to 150, whatever, bro. a month ago. So. so, so that like mine has the recall for that door lash issue too, but it's not really a real thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Bro, your door latch did not stop working in Kansas. Is it legal to publicly post a VIN and ask people to find the owner and offer to buy the car off of him? Absolutely. You can do whatever you want with the VIN number. Yeah, I don't. Th yeah, it's it's always visible. Yeah. So I don't think it's illegal. You can do whatever you want with the tag number. It has nothing to do with anything. Yeah, I know. That is a, that is a big piece. You peeve. have to be when a people, cop. When people like, block out tag yeah, numbers, it's you, like, who cares? Yeah, only the police can really Goodness. do Oh, there we go. There's Jake's thing. Is the emoji with the flat face. That is, <laughs> that is, that's a good job. That's what I expected his reaction to be. About what? About being the wizard's homeless-looking oh, brother. Oh. <laughs> it's complicated and it depends. Uh, that's a good question. How how many years do you think of diesel and gas-powered car before everything is electric? I honestly think we've got a like a long time before everything is electric. Yeah. Because there's so many people who like you can't afford. Like if you just go mandate everything must be electric from here on out. I mean it would. Well, it's only new cars. Right. It, it, this only affects new cars. Right? right. The used market will stay gas for another 20, 30 yeah. years. But as far as new cars, like we might be in the five year. Yeah, period. five to ten year of it being like five year close. New cars all year electric. Car. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Because uh, there's so much legislation <laughs> that they're trying to push through right now that says like no more gasoline engines can be sold, and it might pass. <laughs> and plus, I mean, the car manufacturers are already out. Their Audi was like, nah, we're done. Yeah. So, electric's coming fast. Pablo, that is a question for uh, for Jake, but it was a it's a local club. It was a rally cross hosted by the SCCA. So you have to I guess you have to be an SCCA member, but that's easy to do. And yeah, <clears throat> can I start with the Maserati? Maybe, maybe at the end. Do it because it's I don't know, but um, <clears throat> let's see here. Have you thought about taking the Maserati to the track, Jeffrey? Good question. I have thought about it, but right now it is each shock, which is totally blown on this thing uh is two like two thousand dollars uh are they electronic yes so you can but do the county inserts even the oh, i don't know though either way from fur parts and scootery parts everybody even the non-electric ones because you could get them either or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was basically it's six thousand dollars parts only for the suspension that's not counting the bushings and all the other stuff that needs to be replaced so it's well like f the county inserts are like 300 bucks for the whole set of four and then we saws all the ends off and insert them and new suspension done boom which is actually not a crime to do on this car because it's already been It doesn't matter. I, I've done it on mini cars, mini like big Subaru builds and stuff. The county inserts are perfect. Sure. How is the tune of the R8 going? I'd say. Oh, uh, it's not. <laughs> that's what. That's the logs that, we were looking yeah, at a minute ago. Yep. Those logs that are just gibberish. Uh, they might be encrypted. Oh, Ryan's in here. He he got wind. He's like SCCA, and his ears perked up. <laughs> <laughs> He's in there with the oh, good oh. good info. <clears throat> Rally cross the mountain. And good, good question. That's actually kind of the plan. So, well, you guys will see next week. But originally, that car was not long for this world. It's in there. It's over there. I was like, yeah, where'd that I car moved, go? I moved I it. But um, originally, that car was not long for this world. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to, I'm going to give it like a limit. And if like one to two hundred dollars doesn't make it run right, I am going to give up on it. Sure. But if it does run right, it's like thirty dollars away from rally crossing. I have it's a nitrous perfect. kit. Get it running right, and then instantly. <laughs> it doesn't even need to run right. Just end it. Uh, Put it out of its misery. Okay, Elliot, can you ask Jr. what happened to the LS swap Rolls Royce? It's in my driveway. John Ross, what happened to the LS swap Rolls Royce? It's, uh, it's in my driveway. Starts right up. Yeah. Actually, the alternator's off of it now because I put it on the '67. I need to buy another alternator. Mm. But I like that alternator a lot, and it's really pretty. So I had to put it on the '67. Polished. Yeah, electronic shocks are a bad deal for the most part. Yeah, so Gerald said, if if you get the most value of your trade-in for your next car, what value is an you know an internal combustion engine car going to be if they on trade if they only do new car if they only make EV new cars essentially? 
I think they're going to do some sort of government incentive program where they're going to be like trade. If you trade in a gas car for an EV, you're probably going to get like five thousand dollars on top yeah, of probably. whatever it is. That so it's going to be another. It. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a cash for clunker situation, yep. except for way worse. Right. Because who wouldn't do that? Right. Like everybody with a with a 2004 Malibu Classic. Yeah. I could, if you're telling me I can go yeah. trade that for a, you know, grand? a, a Bolt EUV, yeah. you know, for like nothing, what? then yes. So I'm gonna do remember, that. Car, cash for clunkers required you to have owned the car for like six months and it had to be in your name, you had to match your ID. So start buying junk cars and putting them in a field and registering all of them and keeping insurance on all of them. That way you yeah. can trade them all in and make hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm gonna, oh, here, wait. Look but, at this, guys, because we're kind of answering questions. So, aha, aha. tech whiz. <laughs> yeah, because we're kind of answering questions now, so I figured there's no point in you staring at a Google review that we weren't even reading. Um, let's see here. Cheap car challenge. I like this Maybe one day. Got to go now, <laughs> who's back, said uh, he came back after a slice of pie. Nice. What flavor of pie? I actually want some pie. Yeah, pie sounds I'm pie starving, sounds really man. Good. I'm, yeah. It I'm, is. It's, it's about dinner time. It's food time. It's just about. Um, why not do a cheap car challenge? It, it is a little easier said than done. You kind of need a camera crew. You do. You, you can't just. It's not like when we're filming videos on our own channel and you can kind of, you know, just keep doing it. To really capture everything that's going on, there has to be an entirely separate person or people absolutely filming it. yeah so i'm not saying it's out of the question but it would need to be organized and financed and, uh, yeah it's like it has to have a budget that's <laughs> yeah. the problem it needs a budget and yeah, it is not as simple yeah. as Joe, just do it yep um but uh, excellent question what happened to the xuv it's in my shop long road trips won't die uh, uh, fast yeah. charging is so good now fast you can, charging is going to make up within for it. it's like what's it take to fill up your car 15 minutes right because it, it really takes about five, but you get out and you run inside, You're gonna go to the hit restroom. the bathroom every You're going to get yourself a fresh Perrier. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> I, not me, but. Uh, and then what? You, you got to buy some food, obviously. That's 15 minutes. You get 80% charge in 15 minutes. Everything's good. Right. Everything's good. Uh, let's see here. How can a smart bar car be a coupe? Uh, it sounds like a setup to a joke that I'm ready for, so let me know. I mean, it's a coupe. Uh, it's a two-door Thing. Do you think a Jaguar X-Type 30 V6 is a good first car? Yeah, it's a Ford Manual, engine. yeah, it's that's like, awesome. Yeah, why not? Why Sparkling not? Sparkling water. Oh, yep, somebody's already got the... Tax evasion. The Amber question. Boom. That is true. She is, yeah, she is in the slammer, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, here, actually, look at this. I guess even... That was a bad choice. What am I doing? I forgot this was running the stream. <laughs> Did you just end the Oh, my the God, stream? I hope not. Yeah, it seems like it's okay. living. That was such a dumb thing. Let's I kind of want to see what happens. I think I think it stopped. It just goes black Crap. and it goes back on. We'll see. Are you still there? Oh, Cars and Coffee in Wichita is coming up. Uh, the 17th, April 17th. Let's That's see what happens. I, I have slammed it now. We're, we're on delay, so it's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, Let's see here. Yep. Yeah, Cars and Coffee is going to be sweet. I'm really looking. For the first one's going to be a madhouse because it's everyone's got a pent up full year what's unfortunate is i'm gonna stuff. have to get up like so early to go get the fire truck yes oh what a what a tour drive it home <laughs> i could drive it home yeah dude you, okay your neighbors have you you've not parked crap oh, on the street for it. a long time yeah, they'd love you park it. a fire truck on the street they're gonna be like this is great actually everybody loves it they could come talk to me about every car so yep i'm gonna bring the fire truck out cool um in the u.s do you see french cars never seriously never uh in the 80s you could buy them but they were bad Every car was bad then, but they were a few French cars were uh, particularly bad, and now they're all gone. There yep. was a, there was the one posted in the group that Renault Le Car, mm. that one that was like, yeah, yeah, yep. Everyone's like, yeah, you close the computer. Must it, be nice outside. Yeah, yeah, because all the sport bikes. Sport bikes. Yeah. I heard it's seventy two degrees. I'm gonna go get my sport bike out. Um, yeah, AJ said park the fire truck at his house. Oh, Ooh. smart. Ooh. That way I can yeah, drive the fire right truck there. up at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I actually do want to do that. It's not fun to drive in traffic. I'm sure. Uh, will I buy a newer Supra? Will you? I. Uh, <laughs> He's like, crap. One of my friends works at a, a Toyota dealership. And like last week, I was like, yo, what's the price on a brand new Supra like A90? He, and he gave me some good numbers. I, I didn't buy it, but I might. I would like to build an A90. It's just the new car. 
Like everyone's doing it. I mean, it is. They are nice. They're good to drive and stuff yeah, like that. First, I, I, I love thought the they Z4, were a little, yeah. right? So I thought they were a little pricey at first. I think they're getting better. Yeah, it's like yeah. A fifty-two grand completely loaded was his right. number. Like a nice, nice. Uh, let's see here. Oh. <sighs> It not ended, just muted audio. So it it would be deck. nice. Have a, a How's nice the Ducati, deck. John? Uh, sitting on the stand. Sitting on the stand. Where it should be. That's where I... <laughs> it's so bad to ride, but I kind of want to go get it out today. Uh, I don't, some people, Bugatti is a French-made car. There's an easy way to drive a fire truck in traffic. You're yeah, right. I saw it. It's one button away. <laughs> I love it. How's the gold wing? Man, Jake even Perfect. just stepped it up. I, okay, he's just like, just leave it in the Cars and Coffee parking yeah, yeah, lot. Yeah. It's true. I mean, I should, what, is somebody going to tow it? I should put an alarm system on it. But I think, I would say, I think AJ wants it because I think his kids Oh yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Yeah, I've been letting so. everybody's kids hop in it. Okay, in, interesting question, Vincent. When will Elliot buy a Yaris? Uh, I'm not actively trying to. Well, unless you can get a GR. Yeah. It's well, one man, of the worst cars sweet. you'll ever if drive. I could, if we could get oh. a GR, it'd be so sweet. Oh, it's such a bad car. It's one of the worst. Would you rent out your fire truck to the volunteer fire department? I don't think they'd. I don't think they'd want. I don't it. think that's not how it works. That's not how it works. That fire truck is not serviceable. Like that fire truck, fire department, like kept it running as long as they could, and it's like, oh, it's a handful. Yeah, Vic said, uh, f finding a good second gen Volt. You are. We're always on the lookout for a, a cool always, second always gen looking Volt. for a second gen Volt. Yeah, always. Uh, these are all questions for you. Yeah, so I was like, where, like where, the, where's the, the, the Elliot The one question at? for me is like, do you want to buy a like, Yaris? I'm <laughs> trying to not read not any really. more questions for me. Uh -oh. uh, well, it's okay. What's the next car up for sale? I don't know. Uh, the Viper truck's gone. Ooh, so. look at this, though. A next time, a live Tinder session. A live Tinder review. Do they have desktop Tinder? No, but you, you can, just go through. You can actually HDMI out of your iPhone. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just scroll through, and you're there like, what's this chick about? You're just just messaging every girl. Oh my God, that actually is not a bad idea for a live. It would hilarious. be not automotive related, but it would be hilarious. What's the worst modern, modern car? Nissan Versa or yeah. uh, Mitsubishi Mirage. Yeah, the Nissan Versa is terrible. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else is really bad. Enterprise mm. wouldn't even rent me a Yaris I reserve because they it's don't the cheapest put car. anyone they in They don't put in Yaris. JK. That's amazing. JK, anyone know a good notary, notary public? No. No, go to your UPS store. UPS your best bet. <laughs> we walked into a bank when I was selling the yeah. Viper truck the other day, and this dude walks up. He's like, you guys need a notary? I was like, whoa, I got whoa, one of those. Whoa. Yeah, I got one but on you, call. You can't, like, infringe on don't one even, notary's don't rights. Don't try to come in stamping my paperwork. <laughs> I got a guy. <laughs> Uh-oh, Kenzie has entered the chat. It was yeah, so funny. Because yeah. <laughs> we're talking about Tinder. We're like, yeah, let's do Tinder. Good Ken idea. Did Kenzie say that? Uh, you, Elliot, you still into getting a Ferrari? Of course. One day, yeah, got to got to pump these numbers up, guys. <laughs> and where'd, then the Ferrari's coming. Where'd the old R8 engine go? It's in my garage. <laughs> Jake, you got to step it up with grinder after Tinder. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, uh, the old R8 engine's probably gonna become a table unless somebody wants to buy it from me. That'd be so sweet. Yeah. Uh, I have so many oh. Audi engines in my warehouse that I was thinking that I can do it all Audi table, and that's kind of the idea. Let's see here. Not my name's not happy with our Versa comment. I'm sorry. 98 Chevy Cavalier is still running strong. Here's the thing about 98 Chevy Cavaliers. They never break. It's literally amazing. It's true. Do you know they, they made like the Z34 oh, Cavalier? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That Z34 is. I bought. What did? What was the one I jumped? It was a 2002 or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. Because I, I was there. We, that I thing pulled that so hard. That thing was sweet. Oh, I cannot believe how fast the Z34 Cavaliers are. Hilarious. Uh, Elliot, why, why do you, do you even have a warehouse? <laughs> so we can sit uh, in here and do this. Yeah, literally for this. Look, car, <laughs> ask, studio, lights. Ask random women on Tinder automotive questions and see what they say. We should just message yeah, all of them. every single one of them. So I've got this 2003 BMW. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be amazing. Hey, Elliot, what happened to the manual BMW 5 Series? It is right there. I just haven't done anything with it. I like the new tag, though. I saw it. Thank you. Pretty funny. Z4 has one, too. Everything ah, has one, yeah. and this has one. Custom tags. Yeah. What a waste. <laughs> well, you because you don't you don't tag your stuff half the time. No, I just don't believe it though. I used to yeah. have like custom tags. Uh, I tag the stuff that I'm like attached to, I think. Yeah. And yeah, which yeah. which turns out is everything. Uh, okay. So it's like I keep okay. getting car. I'm like, oh, I love this. Yeah. 
It's gonna be a real problem. I could show get one on the Malibu and be like, oh no. It is really cool though that now my cars like the warehouse is so big I can like test drive them inside, so I don't tag any of that yeah. stuff. That's like it just goes inside and I don't ever touch don't it. To. It never gets driven. Good question, Joe. Any tips on buttering a Scion IM? Uh, do it when the engine's colder. <laughs> it's a little easier. Because of time constraints, it actually worked out pretty well for the video, for the visual, but I had to drive and do all the stuff first. Mm -hmm. And I'd already let the butter sitting out because I was like, I need this to be kind of runny. And then putting it on a hot <laughs> valve cover, it just was like. <sighs> Have you considered if you get it in the tub, you could just flop it over and then like oh. squeeze and push. Oh. That way you get it maximum butter so, out. It would've been so much. <laughs> It, it smelled like popcorn for like weeks because it just ran down onto the exhaust. And that makes sense. Yeah, it was gross. So my, my suggestion is just do it, but film it because it'll be very silly if yes. you just do it for no yes. reason. And uh, also, you know, butter first, and then if you get the popcorn seasoning, oh, you yeah, can, exactly. You really change the spell, smell, modify it. Hey guys, okay, here we go. Paul said, hey guys, how come all automotive YouTubers seem to run their cars inside buildings with no ventilation? Uh, because our buildings are 10,000 square foot, which means we could run it yeah, for like you can run four it for a hours. Lot. Yeah. By the way, Paul, check out Paul's channel, guys. He has a he's he's like the Model A guy. Ah. Seriously, he's got the most original Model A content. He even raced a Prius versus a Model A, which is something I wanted to do. I think we got but. another Model A the other day. Oh, nice. Yeah, because the one that I drove on the channel, that one was uh, my grandpa's, and my dad bought it, and my dad sold it. Yeah. Because he was gonna get another one, and they just got the the new Model A. Nice. Oh, and the sweet. other thing to finish your question, Paul, I actually do have ventilation in here. Yeah, you do. Um, I do so too. So we do. Like, I have a big exhaust fan. You flip it on, and you, you open up a door, and it clears it right out. And honestly, it depends on the car. Like the Prius, yeah. I obviously don't need to turn it on for because it's really it's yeah, so it low forever. emission. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. Some of the cars you just do. They you know some of them are running better than others. Uh, right. You know like right. this smells like straight fuel because it just has no cats. So it's like it just depends on the car. But we do have ventilation. But even if you don't, unless the car's running for an hour, how it, many it just times means have nothing. you filmed yourselves without an oil change? I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Uh, you remember that Blue Mountain State episode? Did you ever watch Blue Mountain State? No. Okay, they, they have a whole thing about oil changes, uh, which is gross. Um, nah. Let's see here. Hoobie did have a typhoon. <laughs> but I like going boogie. <laughs> I know it's a, it a typo. Into hangers now. Yeah. I know what he meant. I, b b boogie's pretty funny. Uh, what's my oldest car? So I guess the BM, that the 97 BMW, but we do have a 29 Model A Ford. Yeah. So 1929 probably the oldest. Wait, the C4 is yours. Oh, yeah, it is true. 92. There you go. Is, yeah, that's C4. pretty old. Jeez. <laughs> Forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Happens. Uh, let's see here. Did you see how it works? real maybe. Don't do a model unless you're going to rat rod it. Oh, the Model A. Yeah. I'm kind of a stock Model A guy. Yeah, the rat rod Because everybody Model does, A's everybody, right. it, it, like, and then even the not rat rods, everyone's like, oh, I'll get a Model A and put a 350 in it and yada, 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 and look at me, I'm so original. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody did that. It's honestly kind <laughs> of a fun thing to drive, stock. Yeah, stock yeah. Model A is so much more, yeah, it's, it's so much more interesting yeah. and a departure. It's like, that's the, that's the experience. Like, if you want to drive an old car before yeah. cars were standardized, like, that is the way to do it. Um, let's see here. I do like the Model A. I like that it's a, it's normal to drive. I hate the Model T. It's so terrible to drive. Why not get a Ford Crown Victoria? I mean, Why not? trust me, I'm, I'll get one. Always they're, they're Crown always Vicks. They're always out there, yep. so, and they're a great choice. Yeah, we're, we're always all looking for that. Who are your favorite non-Wichita YouTubers? Uh, that is, that is a, that's a toughie. Not, not named Rich Rebuilds. I mean, obviously, Rich Rebuilds is everyone's yeah. right now. Well, like I said, Paul Shin's in here. He's, he's great. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Obviously, Life of Apollo. So I'm watching that every day. Yep. Doug. I don't know. Despite ever everyone's, either. despite everyone's, you know, it, my video. Uh, I, I watch the Who. I don't watch the Doug. Yeah. Uh, who else? Then I, I like. I used to watch Sports and Touring. The guys that were in here earlier. They're great. They're in England, and he's got an Audi R8 GT, which we never got here. Oh yeah, yeah. It's convertible. Wait, so no, we have R8 GTs. Well, no, something about his is special. I don't okay. know what it is. I was but like, it, there's tons of R8 GTs. It has like uh, yeah. the the racing seats that are really cool. And, like, oh, okay. It's really it's all neat, right, all right. and it's convertible. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a ton of great channels and it's getting to the point where it's like, if you miss a day on YouTube, you're like, oh yeah. boy, you know, like you got like, next thing you know, you got two hours worth of videos to catch up on. This is my new one. Uh, I spent like three years saying I would never watch Wesley Diesel and never, yeah. I mean, never watched anything he ever did. Right. And I was like, look, all he does is destroy cars. Yep. And then I started watching him and I was like, this is the greatest channel I've ever seen. 
He doesn't destroy oh, anything. It. It's hilarious. He and and none of his things are clickbait. Like it's an insane oh. thumbnail, and you're like, yeah. that's wild. Yeah. And then you click on it, and it's and like, like, that is what he did. That yeah, was, he did that. Yeah. Up yeah. Tavares. Yeah. See, like I said, there's yeah, so I there's so many Alex. Yeah. yeah legit street cars. You could go yeah. on forever for yeah. non Wichita car YouTubers. It's every uh, literally everybody. <laughs> but I, I did just watch like a thousand with Sundays. Uh, like all yeah. everything he, he ever did. I just up, sat yeah. down and watched it all because it was amazing. Question: Who do you ever get the big house you looked at and filmed? Uh, so no, that is the one that if you look my last video which nobody watched uh that was the house that that got sold it got sold at auction so and Hoovy did not buy it but still worth uh a, a look at it's a pretty interesting house what's my favorite bmw um that is a really tough call i really love m6s mm -hmm. i really love uh well z4 ms mm -hmm. or just regular z4s i really like want a 1m or mm -hmm. M1, mm -hmm. M1, the 70s one. Oh, the yeah, good one. Yeah, the good you one. You want the one that and nobody one. has. Yeah, yeah, I want the M1. <laughs> you want the crazy rare yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, the insane one. Uh, man, there's just so many. It's like every BMW. I, everyone's going to murder me for this, but an E46 M3 with an SMG. Yep, yep, yep. So That good. car is gold to drive. I drove actually. those when they were new. And it's just like, I was like, this is, is, is the perfect car. <sighs> yes. Um, Tavares got that Brooklyn like a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is we all talk to each other. And we're like, oh, yeah, he's had that car for, like, two years in storage or something. Uh, but, yeah, he's, he's in love with his brick that we talked about a little bit. Can one of you say hi to Tyler Hoover at Hoover's Garage? Yep, we, yeah. we can. Hello. He's, he'll watch this later. He's working. He's at Bear Jackson. <laughs> Send it to him. Yeah. Hold on. Do it live. You're like, hello. Just he hello. <laughs> like, just, just please just say hello. <laughs> hello. I did it. <laughs> it said hello. He's there gonna, you go. He's going to send you back, like, what? You're like, welcome. Do you need something? You're What's going on? Uh, we said hello to Tyler Hoover of Hoover's Garage. Uh, that's awesome. It's been done. Uh, also, I don't have a mach -E anymore. I canceled that when I pre-ordered the Cybertruck. So the Cybertruck's never going to exist, but that's the new pre-order. Somebody is Sarah in tuned, uh, best-looking car YouTuber. I, you I know. guess. I don't uh, know. <laughs> what is your all-time favorite car? Yeah. Career GT, probably. I don't know. It's a tough call. That's a really tough one. I mean, it's like, what would you want to own if you could only own one? Is You're it on. getting time, Dad? We get our director is telling us uh, <laughs> it's about time. So it's about the Sharon. We've got. Let's just call it two minutes. <laughs> uh, cool. Let's see here. Tavares, you go has been two episodes already, so I wouldn't say that's a now. Why is Wichita like the Midwest automotive nirvana? I, it really is. We have just a high density of car people. We have a huge car culture here, and we have the space and the cost of living to make it happen. Because, like, you just really, it, it's the perfect harmony of all that to make it work. And then, of course, we're all, we all know each other. So I think it definitely turned into, well, well if he's doing it, and we'll let if he's doing it, and it turns into one of those things. <laughs> oh, also another great local channel, Tyler Potter. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's been on JR's channel. All there that you stuff. Go. So, there you go. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Let's see. Favorite diesel Good. bins. I don't have a favorite diesel. I don't bins. have a favorite. Mm -mm. Yeah. Old. Well, um, let's see here. Tyler didn't say anything back, guys. Usually yeah, he's, he's working. Like I said, he is. He is <laughs> actually like, doing TV like things right now. I'll send him like nine texts if you guys. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, man. Send him, oh, he doesn't have an Apple Watch. I was like, do the heartbeat thing. Just be like, dude, hey. <laughs> Open the walkie-talkie. Hey. hey. <laughs> I know you're busy. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, yeah. thank you guys for being here. This was fun. This is the first one. Um, yeah. Might absolutely. do more. And uh, now that I know the, all the equipment works and we can make this happen, it's, uh, it's, it's been fun. So I appreciate everybody being here in the comments. And, uh, Yeah. That's uh, that'll do it. Thanks, man. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks and now for we get me. to. Uh, oh yeah, I can do this professionally. Oh geez, it's uh, catching up. Oh, the comments just scrolled through like yeah. thousands of them at once. That's pretty amazing. All right, uh, we yeah. will see you guys later. Have a good weekend. There you go.